do I want a bag with it? And I said, uh, no, nah, it's fine. I'll just turn the lights off. <laughs> That's pretty good. That was a good one. I can't Welcome see the midweek cover, everyone. Me. That was good. That would be uh -oh. Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is? Oh, come on. I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> Leslie, guess what today is? It's hump day. Woo! Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back for where I'm episode 101 of the Midweek Hump. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Our guest today is a raging piece of crap and couldn't figure out his audio interface beforehand. I'm just kidding. He's not a raging piece of crap. He's awesome. Cool. Um, back Don't with us this like week that. is Uncle Pudge uh, from, from Rumble, from our neighbors over at Rumble. How's it going, man? Good, good, man. Outside of um, the the otter paraphernalia and propaganda that sits in my chat from time to time, and my shit not working literally ever, um, yeah, everything's fantastic, man. The the uh, studio is coming along nicely. I've uh, got these uh, two new displays in here, being mm -hmm. able to uh, pump it up a little bit, get everybody involved with everything. The sponsor came in, Old Glory Bank. Um, so congratulations of, on that. Thanks so much, yeah, man. man. I, it's, it's so great. You know, I've partnered with, uh, V friends to get a, uh, a V friends vending machine here in the studio Very uh, cool. as well. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to, uh, engage with and, um, give value back to the chat as much as I can. You know, I've got some subscribers, so, you know, I want to give them as much value as I can. Yeah. I saw you were doing a subscriber giveaway earlier today. Yeah, yeah, you can kind of see uh, in the background here, I've got uh, my whole giveaway uh, package here. I've got a couple of Squishmallows. I've got some I want nice... the shirt. <laughs> this one? <laughs> you cannot have this one. My sister gave me this for uh, Christmas. It's mine. So? Um, <laughs> there is, uh, let's see, there's, uh, do you guys remember when uh, Bernie Mac was sitting in the chair and uh, it was like really cold during like the inauguration or something like that? Well, Bernie Sanders. You mean Bernie you mean Sanders? Bernie, Bernie, Mac, Bernie Mac was already dead by then. Oh, uh, shit. I Bernie, Bernie Mac. Mac. Is the they all look the same to me. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> That's racist. In so many ways. Um, but anyways, I want to show you guys. This mic sounds better back there. <laughs> that right. Yes. Made. A, oh, nice. Uh, card oh, that's fantastic. That card. <laughs> yeah. So I obviously bought a few of those. And uh, one of those is going to be in the giveaway. Lots of cool vintage baseball, sports, Pokemon. Um, we got some Terminator 2 um, trading cards. So. You see, I was going to enter, but then you said Pokemon. Oh, and I one. saw all those cards that you had to throw away, too. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was I was really mad about that because all of my Jurassic Park, <gasps> my Pokemon, not my Pokemon, my Pocahontas, um, oh, okay. There was some Doug stuff in there. That's the poke um, yeah, that that's that's the polka you can get along with. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Oh man, it was mostly baseball stuff um, that I wasn't super worried about. My good stuff I got in the plastic uh, things. But man, I was really really upset, especially about those uh, those Jurassic Park ones. I will yeah. throw you. My brother, yeah. my little brother had those, so I remember yeah. those. Oh, shit, here's some right here. Yeah, this is, this is one that yeah. I was able to save. Uh, it's not going to focus. There it is. There you go. Yeah, yeah. That now I'll we'll focus on you, but. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, I was able to save. A doctor's got a cool name. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <It's okay>. <laughs> <laughs> not enough letters. <laughs> letters. Grant, uh, I don't think you were here last time. There's a, there's a lot of No, people. no, I, uh, I decided yeah. to get the Rona, I think, or something. Nice. I can't remember. Mm, mm, yeah, mm. that that sucks a lot. Yeah, there's, the there's several new faces in here that uh, were not in here last time. What's going on with you guys? Oh, you're the usual. We just fall on for April Fool's thing, telling everyone that this guy that has been on a stream uh, got a 1.5 million dollar um, thing from Rumble, and we should all apply. And then realizing that it was a, a April Fool's joke. April Fool's. 
yeah. because I live in the future. So I'm looked at the date. I went April second. Can't be April Fools. It's all good. <laughs> That's right. You already knew. And she, no yeah, way yeah, so, with me. Yeah. Well, I yeah, cannot no, tell yesterday. you how many congratulation texts I got. <laughs> yeah. It was so sweet. Absolutely. I know a couple of you guys were like, I hope this isn't bullshit because it's it's great for you. And I really appreciate it. <laughs> no, dude, I, I was... knew it was an April Fool's joke, but I thought I... it was cute. Yeah, I yeah, sent in the congratulations. And somebody said it's April 1st. So I was like, I hope it's true. Nonetheless, <laughs> that's right. It's still that's good right. either way. It is. It is. It was. I thought it was a pretty solid joke. I wasn't sure if like Chris or uh, Rick were, was going to get mad at me about it, uh, but it all turned out well. I was like, I, you got me for like a fraction of a second, and then I was like, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Man. I think I, I saw the first guy. one that had it like with a piece of tape on the thing. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. thing. So I, I, when, it, when the good one came out, I knew it was fake. Yeah. <laughs> That's um, right. So how many of you guys uh, were in, in Vegas? That was that looked like a really fun I think event. All of us everybody but Grant. Grant. It was, Grant. Yeah. It was my – actually, Grant. Grant was kind of there. Yeah, he was. Okay. We he, we were on the show. He was there in spirit. No, I I call I kept calling him. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> Shout out uh, Grant for showing up. Yeah, he showed up, and then we left him, sort of hanging there. Yeah, I felt really all right, bad. this this ass. is gonna this is gonna surprise you, right? Grant was on the show longer than Green Rocks was, and Green Rocks is in the studio. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, it was funny. I I loved the the trip, and everything was fantastic. You know, I didn't win anything as slot machines, but I got really lucky throughout the entire trip, which was awesome. But it was my first meetup, so he just I was... say he had a lot of sex. Awesome. Yeah, no. yeah, sure. Uh, no, he got in the slots. No, I was working. <laughs> <Monday>. <laughs> I, I was working the entire time, so hopefully the next On them meetup there'll be a, uh, there'll be a lot more chill, and I'll be able slats, to slats, you know slats, hang out slats, a lot slats, more. Slats. But the, the first night was absolutely <laughs> insane. I'm working on the video now. I'm, I'm like, I'm so excited. Um, that's awesome. yeah, it was, it was, a yeah, crazy zoom in time. on the pudge. I definitely, um, More pudge. we're definitely going to touch on it tonight because just mm. like kind of our thoughts and memories that we made, it was, I think yeah. it was some Giggity. really, really Giggity. great times. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this, I, I, I'm recovering from sickness right now. I think yeah. just getting home and then pick whatever the fuck was in my, in my hotel room, just lurking in the walls uh and then just i mean being around so many people you're bound to catch something you could have stayed with me at the trope man this is why i mean it wasn't it wasn't anything i mean i think it was just being around all those people like you're walking in and out of these hotels people are smoking i told someone earlier you know it's very peopley there and people are worse than plague rats gross and this is why you take (laughs) this is why you take you always take your supplements that had the fucking uh That's right. You can get ten percent off it with the wellness company if you use code Pudge TV. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Well, that's nice. This that man knows what he's doing. To. Plug. I wish I had V friends, my vending machine, in here right now. <laughs> Dude, that was a that was no, a but seg- that's that's like, like that's one of the things that uh I've kind of like Smooth. I've made kind of a, a part of my day is like whenever I have lunch or if I miss um taking supplements in the middle of the day, I just take them during dinner. And I just had this uh, this fucking like pill divider. I was like, "Fuck it, I'll be old. I'll be old eventually. I may as well get one." Um, yep. But yeah, I just have all my shit separated, and it just reminds me, like, not only like to take my pills, but also what day it is. So it, it benefits all the time. Now, That's if right, only you go get his wellness school, check. Right? Because after high school, you're just uh, totally fine. Listen, yeah, there was I've this, had the conversation, was and then it ended it abruptly. <laughs> I got no answers. There's just See, chapel right down the street. If the doctor takes off his pants at the same time you do, you might want to leave. There, there, were, <laughs> there, there was a, there yeah. was a Denny's you guys were at. <laughs> we have to explain this slowly to people. If we were to get married without my mother, she would kill not only us, but everybody else involved. Yeah. Up to live and including it? the judge. Correct. Not the same. Yeah, you probably killed a camera that you were trying to uh, record it with too. Oh, I don't know what that meant. Um, How dare you go after my? That camera is the like correct that. response. <laughs> Silence is the best response for that. Um, I do want to say hello to Jembone over on Rumble. Uh, just so everyone Boy. knows, if you guys are 
I finally got around to like really integrating everything with, cause we kind of took a break from StreamYard, but StreamYard integrates directly with Rumble now. So mm. we're big, kind of back, back over here. We can see you over on Rumble. So we appreciate you. Um, I know there's some who prefer to watch over there. You're welcome to go over there. We can see the chats all in one place now. Uh, but again, really, we really, really thank you guys for, um, for supporting um, on either channel, other, anyone you want. Uh, Sonia Lissette, you can check out uh, um, on my tweet. The Rumble link is is there if, if, you, uh, if you check check Twitter or a uh, commenter can drop in there for you. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Um, but it's been it's been a, a it's been a long crazy ride. Um, it's been over a hundred episodes. It's been over two years of this craziness. Um, I'm sick, and, you guys. I'm <laughs> I, uh, I'm not sick. Sounds like my line. <laughs> yeah, right. But uh, I, I, de I definitely want to like truly from the bottom of our hearts. I, I don't say I say this a lot, but I don't I don't think you guys truly understand like what it means for you guys to sh to us like to sh for you guys to show up each week. Um, it means the world to us that you, you know, come in here. I know uh, we spoke with Garrett while we were in. Uh, uh, in vegas and he was like dude you, you you're not you're not streaming late enough anymore like what am i supposed to do while i'm working um, <laughs> and it's just great to hear because i know other people do that and it's great that people are just hanging out listening to our show and it's keeping them going uh, so thank you from truly from the bottom of our hearts it's been a pleasure to be here and looking forward to to many more um but if you haven't already make sure you guys whatever platform you're on smash that like button um, share the stream out to everyone. Let's get some more people in here tonight. Um, and if my... you're watching, don't be afraid to clip it and throw it up online. Have some fun with it, guys. Do that. Yeah. Make it weird. Throw it yeah, up like a gang weird. member. Yep. And we, tag us. Uh... If you guys do clips like that, tag us. I don't care how stupid they are. Like, we, I don't, Dude, I don't care at all. It's probably pretty stupid. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're clipping <laughs> this show. <laughs> yeah. um, all right. Common nerd, what have you been up to? We were kind of going around the home. We've been kind of going around, but what have what, what have you been up to since you got home from Vegas? Um, recovering. Um, like Monday, like Sunday, I was fine. Monday, I woke up, like starting to get a little bit of the sniffles and like yeah, mm -hmm. con chest congestion. And then uh, yeah, Tuesday, I was sick. I was down. I didn't do squat yesterday, and uh, I can breathe, but I sounded like a frog this morning when I woke up, and that's starting to get a little bit better. So, but yeah, I mean, other than that. Um, that's pretty much what I've been getting up to. I mean, just trying to get back into the grind of things. Obviously, being in Vegas last week, I missed out on, you know, a lot of stuff that was going on. Apparently, I didn't miss too terribly much. And, of course, the Warhammer stuff exploded this week, so I've been having fun with that. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I mean, yeah, other than that, uh, I'm just waiting for a couple of packages to arrive. I've got this, uh, I've got this beautiful microphone sitting over here on my desk. You also have a very nice beard, Jesse, just saying. Thank I was about to say that, yeah. I was beard. thinking thank that you. earlier. It's yeah. so nice. Yeah. It, mm -hmm. Thank you, I appreciate that. It looks even better in public. But I have this really nice that. microphone that this this quarter, <laughs> this guy that's like quarter black yeah. or something got me, and it's really cool, and it's really snazzy, and it'll make it to where I don't blow out your eardrums anymore. But, I mean, the guy forgot this part that I'm missing. And so I have this really nice, like, really fancy paperweight um, currently sitting on my desk yeah. right now. There you go. Hey. Um, so that's cool. But we're that, thankful. It's nice to look at. Yeah, it's yeah, nice to look at. No, I'm sure he stole it from somewhere. You know, it's, it yeah, sucks but, no, with the rise of paperweights. Nobody ever uses it for door stops anymore. Right. I know, that's facts. It's, it's, it's really, it's I don't even have sad. doors. <laughs> <laughs> that, that explains a lot, Pudge. That actually explains quite a lot. Um, so... That sucks. Just, his doors are just waterfall fountains you walk through. No, I have the, you know those as seen on TV, those really nice um, um, mesh magnets. Oh, the magnetic ones? Oh, yeah. I hate these. You and walk through them, like, fucking, fucking, you know, they're fucking sticking to me. You, you just gotta, you just gotta, like, swim through it. You can't. You, you, gotta, you gotta swim you. through your house. You You're not welcome to play it. It's like, no way. it's like living in uh you know uh the little mermaid i just swim through that this guy the sounds so, awful yeah. every move which one is the remake or the original the well yeah there are no doors so the remake. Course. yeah <laughs> obviously the remake the songs are better but just um, house is like an rpg <laughs> like RPG house an rpg game you just walk in but well it's it's command based you ever play that game don't shit your pants mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like that. i play it every hour long drive 
Yeah, yeah I play yeah. every day after I eat McDonald's. <laughs> uh, see, at least you would have said Taco Bell. That probably would have been more believable. <laughs> if I had a Taco Everybody Bell in my can... town, then I would do that. Oh, you poor, sad, you poor, sad child. You God hates me. Sad, sad. Yeah, well, that's fair. What's a Taco Bell? But he loves your digestive tract. He loves hey, who doesn't? <laughs> it's Mexican food that's just a step better than what you get in Australia. I don't even know okay, what that so means, cheap. but it's not yeah. really terrible. Uh, they, they don't have, have Mexicans Mexican in Australia. They, they, well, they, they don't have Mexican food in Australia. It's only Chinese food. No, they have Mexican it's, food, but it's it, Ox Mex. Dude, yeah. that's got to be like the worst yeah, kind of Mexican on the face. We, we have, like, have, you guys have even fajitas? get spices over there? Fajitas and other things that aren't fajitas, but we all call them fajitas. <laughs> Just Fuck. say we cheese, meat, and vegetable. Just wrapped a different way. <laughs> Pretty Fucking much. white people, man. I don't think it gets much whiter yeah. than Australians. Like, let's Absolutely. be honest here. I totally Holy agree shit. with that. Australians are really. white. No offense or anything. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I guess depending on who you're talking to. Well, I mean, they don't know how to season their food. So, yeah, there is kind of something wrong with That's it. That's true. So, they they have put barbecue on everything. everything. They, they don't need seasonings because they use real fire and iron. That, <laughs> I, that I thought it was because they didn't have any the taste buds. I, Probably I that too. Grant's literally the only Australian person I know. Oh well, you're Yo, fortunate for that. Wait you meet the full Aussie crew. You're gonna have fun. yeah, <laughs> yeah. There you, you're gonna go from the you're gonna go from the one. There's this guy called one. Mozza. Oh, no. Ah, no. No. Mozza. I thought his Keep name was away from Mozza. Nobody if, needs to meet Mozza. If you run into anybody online, anybody with the name of Mozza, doesn't matter if they're Australian. They're a piece of shit. Oh wow, he went there. Oh, by the way, happy birthday, Mozza. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, Mazza, yeah. Mazza, oh, yeah, everybody's guess. Everybody's birthday no, in the last couple of days? <laughs> I don't understand it's that joke. It's been Mazza's birthday for like four days. Oh, okay. Well, that explains it's that. Gotcha. Just the thing. Oh. <laughs> Mazza is the version of Derm. Mazza is the Dermy that fights back. Oh. That makes so sense. Dermy was a it's chihuahua so and also <laughs> retarded, but also <laughs> like Rain Man. <laughs> But also yeah. like Raid Man. But I repeat right. myself. Yeah. Okay, there's there's one uh, specific demographic that Mazza hates more than more than furries. I'm not gonna say it because this ain't my channel. Yeah, you know I'm not in the show all the time. Oh, it's not yeah. the issues. Okay. I almost you, forgot what no, channel I was, and I was just about to say it because I'm yeah so used to saying Mazza and saying that word around him. Basically, it's it's the ones where uh, one side of the gender acts like the other side of the gender. He hates them more than anything. Uh, Transformers. Yeah. Transformers. Yeah. Oh, the Mulvaney's of the world. Yeah, the Mulvaney's. Mulvaney's. Yeah, yeah. January, December. You know, America's darling. October. Uh, Man. Oh, Mulvaney's I love that guy. Over. Give me. Uh, oh my God. He had to Man. go off camera. Canceled. He said it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so can't clear yeah, that, right? There goes my money. No, no, well, it's, it's just it's the yellow words. I get I get I get limited monetization. Oh, always. Oh, you know yellow what, words. You know, I, I, like I, I, I have them yeah. manually review almost all of them, and they pretty much get overturned every time. Which I think is funny because it's like, nope, you're gonna sit here and, and watch this whole thing because you're, it's just AI picking up. <laughs> you should write people. back. So did you enjoy the? Show? <laughs> <laughs> well some of the stuff we talk like uh, these shows i don't usually have i don't always have them review because some i know i'm like nope it's it's gonna get nuked big time yeah but but my guess is they probably watch the first like 20 minutes and they're like eh, okay that's that's uh, that's fine you know because there's some sometimes where we get to like the one and a half hello everyone hey hello, hello. hi, hi. Kiddo. hi. they can't see you waving darling was that Bluey? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Grant has a voice changer. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, some nice. like Grant in AI. <laughs> he just puts the kids there. Say something! Say something! <laughs> he just starts shaking them. <laughs> hey, Hypnotic. What's going on, Yo, Hypnotic? Hypnotic, what's up, hypnotic dude? What's up, buddy? Hypnotic dude, was 39K today. 39K 39 subs. 39 K Congratulations. Dude, dude, yeah, hypnotic. Big money! Towards 40, so. I mean, the last uh, person I saw uh, with his type of work ethic was Ryan Kinnell. Yeah, and before him was the quartering. Yeah, dude. He's absolutely rocking it, man. I don't know where he's Well, that was some guy called Steve. Yo, yo, <laughs> oh, yeah. With all this time on your hands. God damn. I don't know the Steve guy. Um, dude. He was right. into fruit. Good news. Oh, good news, everyone. I forgot to say. Sounds like I, I, did, I did a TikTok debate yesterday. Three of them, as a matter of fact. Why? So and you didn't you have any uh, Moff Tarkins. Go I figure. didn't. I didn't. I was okay. I was okay. Yes. Hey, Dermy. Yet. I, I, com I commented in that, if you have one, to remember this this stream. 
<laughs> Remember <laughs> this moment. God is going to punish you. Yeah. Knock on wood. He's gonna punish all of us. For it was pretty moment. funny. I actually, I actually made these few guys become speechless. Like they, I like got done talking about it, and they were like, "Whoa, okay, well, I never heard of that." And I was just like, oh, oh, okay. "Like it was, it was like watching Michael Jordan like do that, like." uh Dunk from the the foul line, like not to do my own horn, but that's what you know what you need to like. do. You need to flip it, you need to flip it, put fly like an eagle at well, the end of it. Right. You stop the thing about the, the thing about doing TikTok yeah, beats, it's like it's like Ben Shapiro showing up to any college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an obvious like, yeah, you're gonna dunk on them because you know what you're talking about. Yeah, mm -hmm. but yeah, I mean, like, few... sure, if you if you feel if you feel great dunking on paraplegic, uh, mentally paraplegic people, go for it. But, Hey here's man, the I thing about that, though. At, at idiots at Wait, they're disabled? Oh, here, damn, you should have told me. I'd be in. Here, yeah, here's the thing about that, though. TikTok. Not that not everybody bad? in their chats listening to those conversations is a complete and total full retard. So even if you only reach Just one person, be. all those hours that Shags has spent doing that shit and having the fun that he has doing it is worth it because you've yeah. saved one person. You've changed one person's mind. Oh, if damn you do it. that, all Here of comes Jesse it. to take the fun out of it. I was making fun. I knew what the seriousness of it was. over there, Jesse. Thank you. I <laughs> apologize. I'm sorry. See, Comment see, see, guys, don't, listen, bad, don't listen to his don't listen to his fucking wholesomeness. This motherfucker Jesse, was grabbing my ass. Jesse, you he's doing a good thing now. All night. Hey, this this is is your fault, I warned man. everybody in Vegas that they were going to get their asses grabbed. I even threatened a few with kisses on the mouth. So Danny don't even you touch even me. I'm glad start. he didn't. You were all fair one. That's not true. I got a picture of you a hug, of us hugging. Don't even start with that. Don't even no, he, start but you didn't that. grab his ass. Is the you point. He didn't grab my ass. The last I saw, to Jesse, be fair, he, was... he saw you in that suit, and he was probably afraid if you grabbed your ass in that Dude, suit, I the suit like would break. Me wearing that suit, everybody grabbed my ass with their eyes. It was the weirdest yeah, shit. I wanted to. <laughs> I've never wanted to eat a pineapple it. more in my life. His ass looked good in that suit. No, say I'm not lying. That, I, I hated I that. I hate it. that suit. I think it's it. so great, though. I think it. Yeah, I hate so that I suit grabbed, so much. I grabbed. Yeah, I ordered grabbed, one after seeing you in it. I grabbed Rox's <laughs> ass. I grabbed uh, Shags's ass. Um, I grabbed oh, Actually, 70s. I grabbed 70s screen? asses several you, times in 70s. Yeah. Share really my screen for a second, please. Ass. He you, would. Your, oh dear God. Your hand got a little uh, too light. Uh, Hey, this is Project Egg Roll. They're Asian and they have a podcast. Some drunk. Some drunk told me that. I don't know. It's probably a drunk that created this t-shirt. I have no idea. But this is No Green Rocks. I'm Common Nerd. And uh, we're in Vegas for f and yeah. Having a damn good time. I got to grab a lot of people's asses. It's been a beautiful thing. Um, I'm actually grabbing Rocks' right now. I can confirm. can confirm this right now. <laughs> right now. Right now. Right now. My buddy, I'll tell you what. It's the best Jewish ass I've ever grabbed. Hey. Nice. For now. The best for now. For now. Nice. For now. For now. There is, Biggles, there is. Biggles is like, you didn't grab my ass. Biggles, I, I don't think, think I did. But he did grab Dermy's ass, so are you yeah. sure you I want him to Dermy doesn't him. have an ass to grab. I tried God grabbing Dermy's ass. All you get is <laughs> fucking <laughs> back. Dermy has no ass whatsoever, okay? God damn. Thank you, you do that Sonia. Like that. Thank you. That's Thank tough. you, Sonia. Proud of you. Thank you. Yes, no, there was lots of it. I'm, I'm fairly certain the last time I saw Jesse was moments after that. He was out on the street barely able to stand up and Yo, I was Jesse just, was having such a good time. Jeez. I didn't get that drunk the entire. I wish no, I would have no, gotten that drunk in Vegas. I we went, right. we I went to a cigar bar. <laughs> uh, we went to a cigar oh, bar Ryan. that night. Yeah, that dude. We had so much fun. He he was losing his voice then because he oh, was yeah. just screaming <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> like, the that was so that fucking that loud he, everywhere you went. That's all we could do. It's I project. Damn it. It's 11.50, and he walks into the Trump Hotel lobby when we're having these these smoky old-fashioned, and he yells rocks mm. at the top of his fucking lungs in the middle of a quiet goddamn lobby. <laughs> yeah. I thought it's fucking Vegas. It was a fu <laughs> it's fucking Vegas. Fuck That's yeah. That's right. It's Vegas. Damn Mexicans <laughs> ruin everyone's fun, I'll tell you. We yeah, did run across. Sure. How would you know? <laughs> There's a Mexican um, down the road, and I don't like the guy. Oh, <laughs> so now they're you're fucking just all my that okay, one so you're racist. Right. No, well, well, not because of that. <laughs> <laughs> not in this context, he's not. Yeah, not, yeah. not, not well, because actually, of this incident. Now that I think about it, no, he's not. He's um Dominican. Same thing. No. Yeah. 
You're right. No, it's not the same thing. You definitely wrestling. not the same thing. It's absolutely correct. <laughs> Thank you wow. for wow. scolding wow. me. Thank you for Jax, how was your my trip? Ways. My trip was good. I um I next next year I am I'm gonna plan it out a little bit better. Like I felt separated from everyone, but I didn't hate that aspect of it because I I did have work I had to do. And because I was farther away and it wasn't as easy to get over to like Fremont Street, I what I did was I, I woke up, I slept until about nine or nine thirty and then I did work until about eleven thirty, got dressed and like basically went to the strip and then did, you know, did, you know, we, we'd meet up for lunch or whatever it was. But there was always like something to do and most of it like started twelve thirty and we do a couple things, go to the studio, do a couple things, go you know what I mean? Like so yeah. It, it all was like really, I was telling my, some of my, uh, my brother-in-law today, I was like, it was super chill. Like I didn't want to feel like obligated to go everywhere. Cause I wanted it to feel like vacation, not like work or, and then, but like the meet and greet stuff, like all the events were so good because I was able to like have a good time. People, you know, we were mi mixing and mingling and, and kind of getting contacts with people and meeting everybody. Like it was it was such a well-balanced thing for me, you know? Um, like, of course, this I wish we could This is the best advert for the Flamingo I've ever heard. Mm. Oh, shit. <laughs> Much better than oh. any of the ones they put out there. Shags, do you want to tell everybody where you stay, you fucking traitor? I, d I did not stay at the Flamingo. They would be really upset to hear that. What? I stayed at the Stratosphere. Um, yeah, the Strat. Well, I found out. Wow. I didn't. I, f I totally forgot know, that it was UFC 300. That's why everything was so expensive on the strip. Mm -hmm. Like prices, like totally got jacked up. Yeah, apparently that, there was uh, like two conventions coming in this weekend. Uh, yeah, coming Google. in that yeah, weekend was, as there well. There was a Google yeah. one and then a tech one. It was it was oh, insane. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. but it was. Wow. A, I mean, a truly like, it was even better than last year. I thought one because there wasn't as many people packed through there. Um, and I love the fact that it was like split onto two two nights, uh, uh, and then doing nights, the Chris Gore event. Well, yeah, that one too. Yeah. yeah, that was kind of out of nowhere, but that was awesome. And well, uh, there was a lot less people at the meetup, like third the second night than there was the first night too, which I thought was kind of cool. So anybody that ever thinks that they're not going to get to go because you didn't go to the sign up list or something like that, like Thursday night, there was plenty of room for anybody to get in if they want to. And, come hang and out. even if you can't get in, there's a big area outside where people were just schmoozing and you know oh, hanging yeah. out and having yeah. fun. So being yeah. in the area, and all them came out there and everything else too. So. Uh... Well, and that's Talk to something I wanted to like also continue to say is people, some people know, but the great thing about these meetups is that, and I posted about this on Twitter, Gary and the whole FNT G and G crew makes every single person feel yeah. like the only person in the world, like yeah. the time they spend, like it's insane how many hours they're on their feet. Like nobody sits down, everyone's standing up the whole time and talking and like, entertaining everyone also there's that's there's awesome. not many chairs anyway so no. right, that's true that's yeah. true well and you know that's the feedback that i've been hearing too from the people that when uh <clears throat> you know my co-host on monday night fused aegis was there mm -hmm. uh, yeah i got to meet him awesome. yeah i got to meet yeah, him yeah, yeah, i'm gonna have him on my show in a couple of weeks yeah. yeah dude that's dude's that's great awesome yeah he's yeah. A, he's an awesome dude i'm really glad to be partnering with him he's done a phenomenal job growing the uh the rumble gilded he really uh, loves you yeah, he's such a great dude. Uh, you know, <laughs> he's just uh, a solid guy that really believes in the mission of Rumble and what what I'm doing and what I'm you know doing uh, with Mod Mondays and all that. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, yeah, between him and some of the others, you know, Raken and uh, some of the other guys that were out there, that's exactly the feedback that I've been hearing. I am so jealous. The more I hear about it, the more jealous I get. That I wasn't able to go, uh, but I'm for sure. I'm I'm gonna lock in for next year. Yeah. Um. And and I'm really pumped to be able to meet everybody. Well, yeah. <clears throat> um, if you can make it out to Denver, from Denver, um, mm -hmm. she Spanish, going? But, huh? Are you going? Yeah. Of course he's going. Yeah. All I mean, right. I'll one, see you. I'll see you in Denver. Stuff there. Well, yeah. I mean, well, Ripperverse is going gonna be there so you you know eric will be right, there andrew will right. be there i believe the saskas brandon caro alex so i'll be there at the meetup i won all the uh alpha core those alpha core comics i might just go get them signed 
Yeah, that's dude. What, that's what I'm thinking. I got the uh, Joe Bennett uh, artwork. The yeah, the art of Joe cover. Bennett. Yeah, I got the metallic nice. cover, and it's beautiful. I would love to get that signed. Mm. I really want to get it graded before I get it signed. Yeah. Um, and I don't want to open it at all before. I don't get you it have to get it signed? Yeah, that, you that's it. Yeah. What, when Beardo handed it to me specifically, he said, "Do not open this." <laughs> Right. <laughs> and, and no to your question um if you get it signed before you get it graded it'll actually grade less really on the comics mm-hmm. interesting you get the you get the um the so wouldn't signed. the autograph afterwards be considered an alteration on the physical uh, that's why i said item. you have a card get signed yeah 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 so uh, like, on the, yeah, yeah. or I or uh, maybe you know like the you know what is it called uh box and boarded um, bagged, and boarded. bagged and boarded. Bagged and boarded. That's what it is. Um, maybe you get the outside of that sign. I don't know uh, what all the details on it, but I I did hear that from somebody that they were very adamant about making sure that I did not get it signed before I get it graded. Uh, I believe the Saskas will be there. Uh, Ooh, they're hyped there about go. it, so we'll see. But there in fairness, go. they're hyped about everything. They this are. is also those, true. Those girls true. are they're awesome. Very hyped those girls. girls are awesome. They're 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 honestly some of the best cheerleaders to ever have on your team. I can see that. They seem like it. They seem for like it. sure. And they're phenomenal artists. It's incredible. Like yeah. all y'all out there that can that can draw so many props to you. I tried it once. Nope. I can do eyes. <laughs> I can do what? eyes. <laughs> I, I can do an eye. I can't I can never do the other side. I can only do one one oh, eye. Oh just copy and paste. Easy. Yeah, that too. Exactly. Welcome to twenty twenty four. Oh, well, digital I, art, I baby. start using digital products when I draw. Have you heard of AI? <laughs> uh, AI what? <laughs> AI, this guy, that's what he did there. Yeah. A, a, Dude. A, AI. Uh, sometimes why? I get it. See what I did there? Alphabets. Here's a question for you. Here's a question for you guys. No. Are you? Well, yes. Uh, maybe. 42. I'm going to be, my wife and I are supposed to be going to the Dirty Heads in, it's a, it's a band in. Oh, uh, oh I thought it was a sex club. That makes at way more sense. Right. At right. What? Leave with that next time you ask this question. I mean, you've got Dirty Heads. Heads. <laughs> at least you got to understand, you know? dude. Dirty Heads is the swingers club here. It's like is the it? big oh, one. Shit. Yeah. That's right. Is a lot it, of people were playing out there. Like, how many times have you been, been in Grant? New Jersey? So. <laughs> None. I'm too old. Oh. <laughs> All right. So you in your life. We're we're going to we're going to see uh, we're going to a concert at, at Red Rocks, which is in which is in it's outside of Denver, it's in Morrison. Mm-hmm. Um, so, it, but but Red Rocks is like a, an awesome like crazy amphitheater that's like built into the rocks. And it's, it's really like beautiful. That's where all the hail came in and people died. So we're going there right, first, right. first, and then the the fan expo is from the fourth to the seventh. So I'm wondering if I can like piggyback those because Morrison's not far from Denver. Right. So I'm thinking maybe because we're, we're supposed to be driving our RV from Utah there, camping, going to the event. So maybe I can stay. All right. Well, and I guess the question was, are you guys, is anyone going to the, the Dallas meetup or is it just to Denver? I, I don't know that. I mean, the tickets for me are about four to $500 and then I have to find a place to stay. So the trip will probably cost me without food or anything like that probably about seven to eight hundred dollars so mm. i don't know if i can i can afford that that's been a lot yeah the, that's yes, what i was yes. about to say is the thing about dallas is like well for one it's it's close to vegas and um i wouldn't have a problem with that um my whole idea was kind of like you know we'll be showing up like the ripper is to be showing up to uh dallas but um it's not something that's cemented, so it's not something I can promise to show up for. Yeah, it depends if I get yeah, editing my... jobs in between. If I get editing jobs in between, I'll be able to make it. Well, my okay. thing with Dallas is Dallas is just a lot easier for me because all I got to do is rent a car and pay for a hotel. I can drive to Dallas. Like, Dallas right. would be way cheaper for me than Vegas. That Denver is pretty much mm. free for me except for the ticket for the expo. Yeah, yeah that's Look cool. at you. Okay. All of these events are very expensive for me. They are. They are. Because um, he lives in, uh, well, I, I, live in I live in hell. So. <laughs> New Jersey? Oh. <laughs> Mississippi. The seventh oh, I was going to say New York. <laughs> I was going to guess the, California, the but okay. Yeah, 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 it, could be way, it could be way worse than Mississippi. Yeah, it could right. be in Australia. <laughs> yeah. 
You could be that's, in Australia. That's the <laughs> where they beat up grandmas for trying to take their grandkids to the park. So or not taking <laughs> yeah. vaccinations. Well, how do you know the grandmas aren't emus in disguise? Mm. Ooh, good point. Emu so sympathizers. Can get away? Emu sympathizers. Profiling. That's how it works. <laughs> that works. <laughs> it's all profiling. Yeah. Do you can tell them I don't. No. Um. Yeah, that's no Green Rock. Do you remember him? There was. Yeah, Green Rock. That's right. Oh, no. Shadow Hold. There was. I got the tablet. You want a tablet? All right, I'll go get you the tablet then. Oh, I was talking. Oh, to oh you were talking about Green Rock. Okay, you weren't talking with me. All he, right. was telling, he was telling him that in Green Rocks that he liked the tablet. Oh, you got him started on the memes already. Good stuff, man. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Start Start on. They're really creative that at that age. Don't send them to school or else yeah. they'll lose that. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Kids, kids are very creative <laughs> at this age. Manual labor, they absolutely suck. My lawn looks terrible. That's, it's real bad. My four That's why you have to have good. them uh, in the coal mines or making jeans, one of the two. Yeah. Well, I, I use mine for um sewing shoes. They're yeah, nimble little, fingers. little fingers. I tell you what, once they hit 13, though, outside. <laughs> you just 13, once they hit there's, two. There's an Indian family down the road I get all my clothes from, so I'm good. Yeah. You guys just reminded me of something that came up yesterday. I want to get I want to get your answer on this because – my answer I so think the it's question stupid. arose six, six and a half inches. Yep, 42. Um the <laughs> and now the what's question the question? Arose, the guy was trying to say, <laughs> well, capitalism is evil, body, 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 blah. Um, slave labor is evil. I'm like, where's their slave labor in the United States? He goes, You seriously, bro? You seriously? Um <laughs> that's what that's what he said to me. And mm -hmm. I said, Yeah, well, like where where is he? he goes he the prison system? And I said, What? Well, when you're they a still felon, get paid. I've heard this argument, they before still now. get paid. They get they, paid. They, yes, they do. But also, they don't have rights. He said, criminals. "Well, he oh, said whatever. it's slave. It's well. He said it was slave labor. Or maybe it was he said slave wages. Either way, I think he said there was it was slave labor. Mm. And slave I said, well, I said, well, if you if you're a felon, if you're a convicted felon, you've given up your rights as a as a human. Like right. basically, like I mean, yeah. you're a human, but you've given up your rights. You can't vote. Um, you got to yeah. register for shit. You can't have you know guns. Or you're in a prison that's run by Kamala Khan." Okay, and, Marvel, but, Harris, not Khan. And he's like, whatever well, it is. They're, they're not the superhero one. Rick Marvel is incarcerating everybody, guys. God damn it, Captain Marvel. Well, what do you guys think about that? Like, if you if you're a convicted felon in prison and Haynes is like making is like employing these prisoners to sew underwear for him, like even if you're getting paid like just a little tiny bit, like if you're getting paid like two bucks a day I'm or checking something. Checking the underwear the for a shiv. I don't understand why more companies don't do that. Why are we outsourcing to third world countries when we have plenty of able-bodied men in prison, regardless of, of, of why? Let's let's put that aside because I I happen to think that more than 60% of the population of privatized prison doesn't really belong there. Um but like when we're talking about like egregious acts like armed robbery, robbery, murder, you know, these things that people are like giving up their rights as human beings. Yeah, fuck you. Make underwear. You know, we should do what they do in other countries and make them sing show tunes and record it and put it on the Internet. <laughs> and I mean, then chop their head off. If you it, well, speaking of other countries, if you would rather go to you know the Middle East where they cut your hands off for stealing you can uh, that's that. the least of your worries 100 percent. but like yeah i don't know if you know about some conflicts like, that are going over there at the moment and, well there's <laughs> there's other stuff too you know there's there's people that you know they they're worried about eating certain things and stuff like that you know there's bigger stuff going on in the world whatever um <laughs> <laughs> but but anyways you know you'll get your hand cut off or you can make underwear for the rest of you know time i'm i think it's a pretty solid deal slavery don't think so Wait, wait, which one's a better deal? The hand getting your hands cut off or the underwear? Oh, uh, the underwear, obviously. Yeah, I would say underwear. Because how you gonna Dude, make if underwear I'm free, with hands? If I'm free, but I lose my hands, that's better than being in prison for the rest of my life. No, I mean, I would uh, maybe in an Australian prison, but yeah, in an, yeah, bro, they got they got in robots American now. prison, and we've got you get free education, free room and board, free meals, free cable, free cell phones, free internet, free everything. Well, that's only in uh, like Sweden and those countries. No, that's America. There's, oh, really? There, there is 
the, I've I've seen lots of videos of like barbecues wow. happening. They they're how big are these people's prison pocket? Jesus Christ! They're well, it's all privatized, so you know it's not like it's taxpayer funded. Are you, are you the, talking about white collar prisons? Business. Uh, no, I'm not actually. Oh, the white collar those, prisons, you don't. They those just, like, are walk around really and play golf. nice, right? They have it's like country clubs. Exactly, it's like a country club. They have golf, they have swimming pools, they have all kinds of shit. You get like a, you know, a twenty by twenty room and a bed and room service. They don't even have fences. <laughs> no, and like you can you can score one of those just by embezzling a little bit less than fifty grand. Yeah. So forty nine 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 is the limit. I've heard. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Want to buy some Bitcoin? <laughs> Ish. <laughs> I just, but, I, yeah, I don't, I don't believe in the slavery, like prison labor is slavery thing. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's yeah, it will. And the thing was too that I, I was right, bef- right as I was kicked from that live, I was explaining something to them, and they were like, "Oh, how cringe!" He was like, "He's so calm about what surprised. he's saying," like. <laughs> And I was like, like the whole time, like one group said I was like super cool for being calm and like, yeah. and like cool. And then this group was, well, it was like, they couldn't help but bring up that I was a white guy explaining this stuff. Um, you are was, a perceived white guy. Right. Yeah. Well, here's my white, question to you. Yeah, you even when you're not, you're white presenting. That's the new one that I've heard a lot of them using. You're what? white presenting. White even if, presenting. even if you might be like Jesse, who doesn't, who isn't white, you're white presenting. Here's my I question, don't Shex. As a white guy. Yeah. Cheap. When they said that you are um you're a white guy explaining it, did you did you tell them that it was irrelevant? Yes, I did. And then they laughed at me. Okay, you shouldn't have done that. What you <laughs> so should have done was continue your point because as long as you don't acknowledge their stupidity, they'll right. keep trying to hammer on that and you go, but you're not answering my question. Yeah, at that's that point a good in time idea. they shut down faster. That's a really good idea. And I didn't bring it up at first, but I, I think at one point I said, what does this have to do? I said, what is the, what does me being white have to do with anything? I think is what I said. No, yeah, no, don't do that. Acknowledging really it. That. Yeah. So what, what you need to do you as a Trump voter. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to start crying and you should say as a black oh, woman, I'm very offended. Absolutely. Oh my God. That's so good. Yep. As a black Indonesian trans female, I identify Amputee. as being offended. Yeah. As MVP. a black Indonesian yeah. trans female with f- zero working limbs. Right. And 18 ears. <laughs> I'm just uh, real twerps. quick, I want to give a shout out to Raken Knight. Who's popped yeah, he's right chat, there. Shout out. My dude. Also, you know, shout out to he, uh, $5 Rumble Raken? over there. It says, hell yeah, we got Pudge on the midweek comp. On the midweek right. comp. Let's Part go. two. Global Gamer in the house. Uh, shout out to Global Gamer. He is responsible for the uh, live death counter that is present on my uh, Elden Ring streams. Nice. Yeah, it's because of Raken I'm going to be testing out Rumble. Uh, I'm put, I'm go. uploading the uh, the video I'm making for the uh, FNT Vegas trip on there before I put it on YouTube. Nice. Uh, see how it is. Yeah, Rumble, I'm testing you. I'm testing the waters. I'm testing you. Wow. See if your algorithm is any good. Well, it's not. This I can guy. tell you. Or my um, videos is it, are shit. What algorithm? There's... There's no, no real algorithm. The, the, the algorithm is is something that they're they're really starting to implement um, now. Uh, it's brand new. That they're calling it uh, suggested videos or something like that. It's an algorithm, and yeah. it's the right answer if you want a solid uh, you know content platform. But I I would caution um, you when uploading post produced content. It's when you're looking at those numbers, just be take it with a grain of salt because Rumble is primarily a live streaming platform. Um, so the post produced content is not, it's just a, has not been, and maybe it's not going to ever. Oh, so you're saying I'm in the ground floor on this? Let's go, bro. That's absolutely right. So just take that with a grain of salt that it's not performing as well as uh, live content. Uh, I'll, I'll take it with a grain of kosher salt. Oh, good. Yeah. Nice. That's, That's what you did there. That's all it's, I use. It's your cook with, bro. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, uh, I spent a good amount of time hanging out with Break In and and a lot of the Rumble crew, and they yeah. they were like, "Bro, you gotta get on it, gotta get on it." Yeah. So 
we'll see what happens. I'm going to be testing out Rumble over the next few months to see how it is. Um, cause I have yet to see people, uh, go from like, uh, you don't, you know how YouTube has all the success stories of like people yep. starting on YouTube with like no, nothing. Yep. And then all of a sudden exploding. I want to see that. Ha- I actually want to see that happen on rumble. Watch doesn't happen to happen to me, happen to anybody, but like, I want to see more success stories from rumble, not mm-hmm. based on, you know, political content, but just yep. content in general. Yep. Cause I, I, I think, um, if all of us start doing that, we can actually change the reputation a little bit, which will help the platform in the long run, in my opinion. I agree. Well, I'm, um, my, yeah, my new channel is launched happening. exclusively on Rumble. Once I hit 450,000 subs on YouTube, which is, I'm thinking I'm only like 400 away from that. Um, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna go over there and do all my AI stuff in there because there is, there's no one really pushing any sort of um, AI um, nope. like tutorial content over there, so... Tons of white space over there. Yeah, I'm gonna start doing editing videos over there because I know I'm not gonna get struck for like editing instructional videos if there's like sound or something like that. Because right. when you're editing, it takes a long time to find sound and stuff. Right. So like YouTube will be like, Oh, you don't own this, and then your stream gets muted. But on Rumble, thing, it's yeah. not gonna do that. That's right. Hopefully. Yeah, and I do that. I well I do it every every single day. I'm I'm on there doing uh something using some um media that's copyrighted not by me uh whether it's music or movies tv shows anything like that you know if i'm finding a sound bite or a clip or something like that rumble's the place to be doing that kind of thing live because it's they're not going to shut you down um for those kinds of things so, and it's yeah. not like I'm going to be stealing content either. Like it's it's for right. the great. You could. And, you know, I mean, theoretically you could, but ethically I don't agree with mm. it. So, right. And and Rumble understands that, and it's real people doing these things. And, you know, Shag mentioned earlier, I think that you know when you go through like this demonetization and and uh, reporting and process, it's AI that you have to deal with and it's not real people or it's or it's even you know if it is real people it's like third world country people that are getting paid eight cents to handle your issue with a script and um that should be that should be going to americans in jails that job i I (laughs) agree i absolutely agree why are we paying people they get one free phone call for every phone call they answer there you go you you can transfer out (laughs) (laughs) You don't get to make a new one. You just have to transfer. <laughs> um. Oh, and I, I, I forgot earlier. Uh, Grant came through with his 10-month anniversary membership. Said, 10 months? Wow. I need wow. to remember my bank details. Still got another 150 characters left to use. So, oh, yeah. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh, uh, ding, 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 ding. Wow, 50 more left? Screw this. I'm done. Thank <laughs> you, Grant. I still have 22 on the uh, unused. Nice. <laughs> Bro, you just letting uh, that do you just letting that real estate go to waste? Yeah, no, yep. I like yeah, I want it to be a challenge for for everybody listening to this. Go start creating content exclusively on Rumble. I want to see what happens. This is my test to Rumble. Yeah, I Rumble. Channel. I'm putting your your feet to the fire on this one because the quarter never shuts up about you. So I want to see if it is possible for success. I mean, the common nerd is was like exclusively on rumble for a while and he was doing pretty well well to be fair the quartering never shuts up in general (laughs) so true that's also that's right that's also fair that's right well Um, you know i i I create exclusively on uh rumble and i've been doing it since may of last year and um i think that the channel and several of the other people that that I've been partnering with uh, on Rumble are well on the way to the success stories that you're looking for. Yeah, no, like, I I don't care who it happens to. I just right. want to hear it, and I want to celebrate it, because I most likely know the person, so I'll be like, yo, my boy, <laughs> yeah, dude, you go. Well, Rumble's okay. the place for to make it happen, guys. It's It's Facebook, YouTube, 2006. Uh, right. over here and i highly 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 recommend uh making content it doesn't matter if it's good or finished or whatever just start making something it is i mean it, it matters a little but you'll get better as you do, do more 
Right. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter when it's your first video. Nobody's going to watch it. If you spent $20,000 producing your first video, nobody's going to watch it. If you spent 20 minutes producing your first video, nobody's going to watch it. But over time, to your point... You're selling me on this? It's yep. going... <laughs> It's going to get better. You know, when I first started streaming on a rumble, I was literally in my shed a hundred feet away uh, in a makeshift room with nothing more than an iMac and, uh, you know, a Nintendo switch. Um, so uh, I think that, you know, you grow your community over time. And if you get five people that will come in and be consistent and, be a quality audience then you're good to go yeah i agree it's a it's an uphill battle till it's not um and the thing the, the challenge i think rumble has too is it's mm. it's a bit backwards from where youtube was still the mm. same in that like you're trying to sh show people that there's value in in this platform and we're here to stay um and then like it just kind of catches on if it does you know like it yeah. In the beginning of youtube like oh everyone thinks it's a good idea and it was the first of really what it was um well i mean one of the first and and it just took off as just the platform and now you have rumble trying to do the well, very same thing and it'll be but they're, 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 be they're going about it the wrong way that's the thing they, they've got a perfect opportunity to turn rumble into its own verb like if you if you if you need to know like what youtube was back in the day you need to know how mm -hmm. to fix a door rumble it you need to you need to you want to know how Rumble's to do this rumble not be it, that. Uh, it's not going to be that right now, but I, I should feel be. like should if be the more goal. people hop I don't, on there. I don't think that that's Chris's goal. You know, if you watch some of the interviews that he, he does, he is not looking at YouTube as a, as a competitor. He's not looking at any of these people as a competitor. He's looking at them as other units in the same marketplace, in the same economy, well, that's what a competitor right. is. You're not you're not going to become the default video platform unless you have all of those kind of things on your platform as well. You mm. need the cat videos. You need the stupid top ten videos. You need the how do I fix my fucking ninety seven Chevy's carburetor or you know ninety seven Chevy's alternator like videos. You need all of that kind of stuff. The problem with a lot with a you lot of people alternator. they go to Rumble is you go to Rumble and the first thing you see on Rumble is the fact that Trump's yeah. live streaming. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know, no, no. and like so all anybody really really thinks about is Rumble is politics. That. So if you have the fr you land on the Rumble front page and you see top ten funniest cat videos, well, that's gonna bring in a much broader audience. This is uh, amazing. Charles, you've got loud Jesse, and then you've got really quiet. Charles, I completely <laughs> understand you. I work, uh, my my day job gets me up at about four thirty every day, and I get home around uh, five. So I I completely understand you. Uh, just start by making one video a week. You can yeah. take 15 minutes out of your day yep. uh, each day and work. You, you don't even have to do a script. Work on bullet points. Um, yeah, it's, so it's literally baby steps. Don't try and so overburden true. yourself. Just do what you would do for YouTube, but put it on Rumble. And it's it's a safe place for you actually to put things and not have to worry that you're going to get yeeted because you mm -hmm. said uh, – the T word or, you know, the R word or, R -word, you know, right, yeah. or, or, you or know, you would be yourself um, on there. So I encourage you, even if you have very little time, take 15 minutes out of your day every day. And if you, if not make content, go learn how to make content and slowly dip your feet into it. Yeah, I know. Man. Trust me. I know how hard it can be, man. I really, really do. So but look where I am. I mean, uh, the Legion does a show. Yeah, you're in Colorado. Hours. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's real cool. The Legion you two could be in Colorado. <laughs> you rumble it. I mean, if I had more time, I'd be streaming a lot more. But yeah. you know, the Legion right now only does a uh, a, a two hour show uh, once a week. You know, you can do something like that. Get some friends together. Sure. See if you can hop on somebody's stream that you know, yeah. and just dip your toe in the water, man. Yeah, you know, it, and it's going to take a really, really long time. I think people will get caught up with the um, immediacy of wanting to pop off, right? You know, they, they want to get a million views or 10,000 views or whatever in the first five videos. I was uh, I had the, the honor of being able to be on 
uh, Gary V's show. I don't know if you guys know who he is. Yeah. Um, when he did tea with Gary V back in 2021, and everybody was still kind of out of office and stuff. Um, and for people that don't know who Gary V is, you know, he's a serial entrepreneur, business owner, um, and just all around uh, super great. How many dude. serial companies does he own? Uh, 18. Captain Crunch is going to be number 19. Uh, <laughs> he's only made those, though. He's kind of a soup guy, too, but mostly wine, actually. Um, so, uh, he's, he's all of that. And then he made the show and, uh, you know, I'm, I, I look up to him in the context of like branding and business and entrepreneurship, that kind of thing. So when I got on his show, I had been like seriously making content for about a year or so. Maybe, um, I'd been doing some post-production stuff. And um, I told him everything that I was doing, all of the dreams that I had, the passion that I had. I had a similar setup to, you know, what you guys see here. Um, so, you know, there was a background that told my story. And I was I, I give my whole spiel for like five minutes. And I'm like, all right, so what do you got for me? And he's like, nothing. You're well on your way. And I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> but it was so the right answer because... I was doing things. Yeah. And if you're doing something, even if that's learning, like you said, Rox, you know, if, even if that's learning, you're watching other videos, you're getting in comment sections, you're replying to tweets, you're doing things like that, you're building your community, you're still doing. But if you're just sitting around complaining and being sad that you don't have, you know, bottles and models and dollars and, you know, whatever the hell, then... But you you can't you don't have the right to do that i i don't think that listen if, if if you're expecting fame overnight i throw that out of your mind Wrong just just answer. throw that out of your mind right uh, you know it, it it might happen one day it might not happen one day but just stick at it and you'll be you'll be on your way as long as you're on the correct path yeah. that's all that matters yeah and charles uh you know mm, positive vibes is, is what is what i go for my dude uh just get involved, hop in people's chats. And if, if you're worried that, like, if you're not on YouTube, you won't get att at attention, when you're doing your Rumble channel, clip different segments yep. and then throw it up on YouTube as marketing material to send them over to Rumble. Yep. Throw it on the shorts. Throw shorts it over on TikTok and shorts. Go, Short, shorts shorts are the most go. valuable thing for advertising. It's, that's right. I, yeah. I, will, I will tell you. Ha putting things on all these different platforms, modding or uh, you know, because I'm in I'm in charge of everything Legion, like all over the internet. It's a pain, yeah. but at the end of the day, and I can vouch for this because I you know I went to the meetup, and I did not realize how well known the Legion was until oh, yeah. I got there. I was like, I, I, I the first day everybody was like, "Are you drunk?" Because I was running around. If I had a dog tail, it would have been wagging the entire time, dude. Uh, People were. I dog was tail so happy to see everybody. The around. Uh, I didn't they care did. if they knew who I was, but they were like, "Wait, no green rocks, Legion of Memers," and you know, it, I, I'm telling you, the you won't see the results right away, but it will happen, and it might happen within a small group or a big group. It doesn't matter as long as you put in. The work. the work that's right you just got to put your head down and not do it for the numbers and not do it for the money and not do it for the fame if you do it for those things you you might get it it's just not sustainable yeah i think about it you, you want your career on these to be as long and as fruitful as possible if you have to pretend it's not going to last very long you're going to end up like a lot of these big youtubers that just blew up and then everybody realized their personality was dog shit. You know, just be yourself. Even if your personality is dog shit, people will be like, you know, I like this guy from the beginning. <laughs> so I like him now. It's it, it's just how it's going to work. Yep. That's that's right. Right. Uh, the old Aiden Ross trick. I see what you're saying. <laughs> I don't get that I, one. I told people <laughs> a few times, like, or just, just talking to people in real life that I, you know, that know that I do this. And then people that were even at the meetup, like just you got to get into this because you truly enjoy it. Like there can't be really any expectation about like yeah. what you'll get in return. 
Mm-hmm. Um, because, I, I mean, at least in this source, at least for me, like me putting out my ideas and talking about things. And it's funny that I'm saying this now, because even in my debate yesterday, someone was like, well, what are you doing about this? You ain't doing shit. Mm-hmm. You ain't doing shit. I'm like, you don't even know me, bro. Like right. I talk about this. I talk, talk about, about all this stuff every single week and how it's important that, you know, like you're not too far to the right. You're not too far to the left. You're like, you know, most people are in the middle. Like we need to be practical about things. What, you know, I was like, I talk about this stuff constantly. Mm -hmm. Um, But I do it because I'm passionate about it. And I want people, like you said earlier, Jesse, even if it reached one person tonight, that means way more to me than anything. And I, and I don't get the chance if I just sit on my hands and just bitch about it. You know, at least now I, I, I'm passionate about things I talk about, the people I want to get to know or, you know, converse with. Like, that's why I talk to people that are uh, like opposed to the things that I like, because Mm -hmm. there's something that I can get out of it. I can enrich myself. And then as long as it's a respectful conversation, I, of course, if if the conversation turns disrespectful, I'm, I'm out of there, man. That's right. And that's why from Shaggy, it is respectful because he's going in to learn as (laughs) opposed to the people that he was talking, you were talking to the other night that were going in there to force something down your throat. Yeah. Listen, guys, I, I, I do apologize. I have a really early morning tomorrow. I got to bounce. I, uh, uh, Pudge, I'll be in touch. I'd love to have you on the Legion show. Uh, Raken, love it. Raken should be on this mic. week. So, uh, so uh, come chair him on in chat. Uh, For sure. But it, uh, again, it was awesome seeing all of you in Vegas, you know, um and you know big shout out to the friday night tights crew i have some behind the scenes footage of them oh. filming friday night tights Ooh. so that is going to be in the video i am working on uh hopefully it'll be out in the, by the end of the month because i actually want it to be good it's yeah. going to be my <laughs> first video of its kind so if it's nice. not great i do apologize but uh i hope you guys uh, from watching it, feel the passion I have for this community and, and know that everybody is welcome at the end of the day. There's always, you know, a place if you're a good person and not a complete douche nozzle, mm. there, there is a place for you. Well, um, partial you douche nozzle. spots for those too. <laughs> like if I'm, a, if I'm, a, if I'm like mostly douche nozzle, but not completely, is that okay? <laughs> yeah, we have Ryan. We have no, Ryan. No, I mean, if oh. it's your character, go ahead. Have fun with it. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> uh, right, but dude. everybody, have a good night. I will see you guys next week. Um, hail. Bye. The Beamers, hail the midweek home. Later, bro. Hail. Later. Night, Rods. Um, now that uh, I did, I did uh, miss him already. I didn't really forget. <laughs> DJ Ryan. Game harder. Mem- member for two months said, succeed on Rumble. Challenge accepted. Um, let's go. So we like to see, keep it up, Love do it to see it. Yes. And then he also came round through coming up with uh DJ. Uh, wow. He came through with $2, a $2 uh, super chat and said, shout out to common nerd. I concur. Um, shout out. DJ you, Rudy. Shout out. Buddy. Um, yeah, dude, I think, uh, I think rocks is right. I think it's, it's sound advice. It's, it's, uh, you know, it's hard though. I mean, I, like anything it's, and that's why I say like, if you really, really enjoy what you're doing, it doesn't really matter how much time you're pouring into it. You don't need mm-hmm. something in return, uh, because it's just something you would do anyway. Um, that's right. so like having, I would talk to, I would talk to people every single day in a one-on-one interview. If I, if I was able to, you know, if I was, if I had the notoriety to do so, you know, people, Oh yeah. Talking, you know, but I, mm-hmm. you know, I just can't, I mean, for many reasons I can't, but, um, for it's sure. it's just something I never get sick of is talking to different different peeps. Um, yeah, if I didn't uh, if I didn't have five dogs, a family, and a farm, then that this is what I would do every day. A lot uh, of ifs. <laughs> <laughs> I, and one uh, D. And one D. That's all that matters, right? You just need one D and all the Fs. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, wait, no, not the Fs. Pause. Yes. Not the Fs. Uh, Hold the Fs. Fs. Oh, no, no, in the, the, the Ps. Fs. Sorry. Anyway, um, so you know that's that's what it's keeping me from doing this more and more. You know, sometimes Mrs. Pudge has to regulate me a little bit and be like, "Yo, I haven't seen you for two days. I need you to touch some grass, and you know, I'm grass." <laughs> so you know, 
it's it's stuff like that that it's just so much fun whether it's playing video games whether it's talking about video games whether it's you know like yesterday i had uh uh crystal parker from the u.s christian chamber of commerce on the show totally different than like mod mondays um and absolutely different from you know, my morning death streams <laughs> that i'm playing elden ring you know so much different than this i would love to do this all day every day yep yeah dude it's it's so i think i think everyone here is like of that like yeah that'd be you know it'd be cool to to make that i mean if not every day like it would just be like what you, like that was your work day right like yeah you know check in for a few hours do your thing and then go out with the family um yeah. i was joking with my wife last night because we're we're getting our rv in order and getting the oil changed doing some interior stuff like you know just updating some, some appliances yeah. and uh i was like man it would be awesome to be like uh like traveling youtubers like be able to go around like film your what's yep. going on and you know do remote work and and she just like looked at me like come on i'm like yeah i know i know i like, got enough stuff going on right now <laughs> but i still think about you know because like it's such an easy fun thing to do you know just share sure. your experiences meeting people around and it'd be a good way to interview people so i um, i agree man you know i i really envy people like uh zuby who you know, yeah. that's that's what he does right like he's got his his stuff but he goes around and he gets to interview people in real life and that it, it helps when you hold the world record for weightlifting for women a hundred percent had i have thought as about i could probably i could probably beat her um just saying as as <laughs> good woman, luck i i think i could i could outlift her she um, lifts <laughs> she she be lifting to be uh, fair one okay dude from him will totally just knock you off the internet though yeah true. yes that's kind of yeah he's he's kind of no got a he's got a uh a signature move he's got a blue eyes in the back pocket all time <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure but man it would just be so cool and, and i talk about that with mrs pudge all the time too where you know we were just like man we would love to just travel all over have you know maybe a house in all four corners of the united states and just be able to go hang out in the northeast northwest you know west coast whatever we want to do and not have to worry about oh i got a clock in today oh i have a meeting today oh i got this and that and this and that it's it's uh the dream for people like us i think to be able to come in here and just build community 24 7 because that's what we're doing I, I did want to add to I totally forgot to add this before we, when we were talking about like Rumble and everything. Um, one thing I do think is important with Rumble is is people leaning into that like because they, they, well they need to lean into uh, the post produced stuff like recorded videos on there because Rumble does you saying well I mean yes Rumble does but also people making content like they okay. need to upload that stuff directly and not just use like transferring vods from YouTube over I agree and they need that. to yeah, figure the out a way the I've noticed thing all, all the stuff that I've ever put on there the only traction that I've ever gotten has been when I put the videos on there I downloaded them from my YouTube didn't sync it up and then put it on there mm -hmm. and yeah it was a difference between one view and a thousand views yeah and the and even more than that they need to find a way to integrate with search results like i know that can be difficult because they want like it's every time google. you search for something yeah like whether it's on google or anything like rumble does not come up it's all youtube so how do they weave their way into that because that's how they YouTube don't because corner, google has control content. over that and right. google that's owns youtube though. Yeah. I, don't, I don't disagree with that, but I think I think the the question is speaking outside of that parameter. You know, you know how how does Rumble inundate the internet with information? Yeah, and it's content, content, yeah. content, content. Rumble, look, Rumble may not like it that I say this sometimes, and a lot of people might be surprised that I say this sometimes uh, from time to time. Because I'm pretty much I'm a pretty big advocate for Rumble, and I don't often shit on them, but damn, they do a really bad job of branding across platforms. Yeah. Um, and there is no content whatsoever outside of Twitter, really, 
from Rumble. If you follow them on Instagram, on LinkedIn, LinkedIn, they're, they're a little heavier. Um, Instagram, Facebook, you would not know that it's the same brand. It's, I was trying to shout at Chris to sponsor Camelot's car. I was like, dude, get on his fucking car. Like, get on the NASCAR. Literally get on the car. That's, like, yeah, that's like, not a bad idea. <laughs> like, not I a bad mean, idea just, at all. I, yeah, I think put that logo to, on the front hood. You yeah, know? I think that, well, and the crazy thing is that that's really expensive. They have an opportunity. They have seven different people, I think, in, according to their LinkedIn um, opportunities, they have seven different people in the content management and branding, social media, digital world realm, right? And you're not seeing any content come out from them. They've done two partnerships, two rounds of partnerships with 150 plus creators, and there is not a single clip on the internet from any of that. Yeah. They Hundreds need to of hours of free content that they own because they paid us for it. Right. Uh, and they have the rights to be able to clip it and make content of their own. Why are they not doing that? Yeah, they need they need um they need something like taking clips from people's game streams. Yeah. Um either fly like your top people out to the offices and get like good interviews with them like in the offices Stories. or have them have these have some of these people record like five minutes of who they are mm -hmm. send it into them you know like all this stuff is super easy to do nowadays with yep. like dropbox and everything like you don't you know it's not like you need to sell easy. physical tapes or anything well, something that could be really fun is just getting the the rumble gamers together and doing a big game of among us oh, for yeah. all of them and yep. streaming Virtually. it everywhere yeah yeah, yeah i mean you could Building you could call it the royal rumble I'm glad I'm not on Rumble. I see what you did there. Bumble or um, esports. Like get like Smart get some idea. guys for get some guys for Counter Strike. Get some guys for Rocket League. I yeah. mean, these are highly competitive. Those, like, keep them the fuck away from us. Fucking love Rocket League. I hate those but sweats. I, but I, the, uh, I I hate it, but I love it. Well, but I'm saying like that. Like that's not, those. That's I mean, right. I like watching those games, but like I, I'm not going to play them. But it's those huge. are games mm. that are going to pull it's people in that don't know that's who right. Rumble is. Like that's who's Rumble? Right. Don't know what Rumble is. Or yeah. And that's those are the people, and, and especially those competitive games because those are young kids mm -hmm. that are playing those. Oh, I'm in a sponsored event on this website, Rumble. It's ex yep. it's streaming exclusively Fortnite, over Apex. there. Apex. Yeah, uh, those Hawk. yeah all those kids want to play tournaments for Apex. Yep. Rugby, I mean, etc. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do something with the biggest game that's going on at the moment, Hell Divers. Hell Divers, dude. Oh, yeah. no right, shit, and, right? Yeah. and some of these, these developers, these games, they're really active on Twitter. And look, Hawked for for as, a, as an example, Hawked. You guys know the the new game. Um, they came in and commented on uh, somebody streaming it on Rumble today. So you've got these brands that are paying attention to the creators. They really just kind of need that. That little nudge from somebody that means something like Chris or uh, Dan Bongino or something like that to say like, hey, yeah, you should do that. Or, you know, just saying th their names out loud gives them credentials. You know, Dan and Chris and Rump this is something that Rumble can do that is completely free advertising and marketing is following People that post content on Rumble and retweeting them. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I mean, like, how often do we... I tag Rumble in every one of my posts. Everything. And how hard would it be just to have somebody go through and retweet <laughs> the the t 10 every five, every hour? Yeah. One hour. Just, just grab the top 10 right. out of that hour and just hit retweet. That's all it, you got to do. You ain't got to say nothing. Just hit the retweet button. It is so cool for me. I'm a normal person. It is so cool. Allegedly, when when, uh, when Rumble retweets my my shit, or Dan Bongino follows me, or you know Dave Landau retweets me, that shit is cool. There's a lot of social equity in yes. stuff like that, and there's a ridiculous amount of value being left out on the table by these brands like Rumble, even YouTube, Twitch, and Kick. They they have cool. the opportunity too. They're not taking advantage of it. But Rumble needs to. There's a lot of people out here, little 
But when people. they when when they've done it, they've had success. I mean, look what they did with Floyd. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, you, well, and that you Rumble creators so program, success. that small creators program that they did was genius. Yep, they keep doing stuff like that. It'd be great. They'd murder everybody else just with small creators alone. That's absolutely. But they got to do think, stuff like that up. I do think so. I I disagree to a point. I think how they're doing it is smarter than how other people have done it. Mm -hmm. Um. It, well, in some respects, you just got to stop spending hundreds of millions of dollars on right. single people. Right. That's the issue right. is that you're you had, you know, Mixer and Facebook like just dole out millions of dollars. They went under basically, and now Mixer was a, wanna... Mixer had to be a money laundering scheme. I, I'm I'm hundred percent con convinced of it. Like the fact that people were getting fifty four million dollars and then have to fulfill their contract when the thing goes, it's just like. That's insane. Well, and yeah. think about this. Think how much cheaper it would be to do a more community-driven thing, too. You know, take uh, take gamers that do gaming streams that have a 1,000 followers on Rumble. Get 10 of them and do one massive media campaign for, like, a weekend 24-hour event. People are going to be coming in, and they're going to be playing this game for 24 hours. We're going to rotate these creators in, and you wouldn't even have to pay the creators anything. Anything. They do it right. for exposure. For the opportunity. Yeah, That's just right. the opportunity to do it. And you wouldn't. That's it right. wouldn't cost you a fucking Mike's dime. Right. And that would show so much good faith towards the community and anybody out there who's like, yeah, I like my smaller streamers. I like being able to have that kind of fellowship, that kind of community among people. It would go so far and do so much. And it would show them that they're different because that's right. the big thing with Rumble, right? All any or not Rumble, but YouTube. YouTube only cares about those big, big creators, the yep. Mr. Beasts of the world, those kind of folks. Yep. Whereas you can show that, yeah, no, we're, we're a smaller, smaller creator driven platform and it would work great. I absolutely agree. How many millions of dollars would they have saved by uh, instead of bringing, you know, Sneeko or, you know, not di not dissing any of these these guys, Sneeko or, you know, Kind Speed or uh, Rice Rat or whatever his name is, uh, Ms. Kiff, these people that, they, you, sure, they're huge and great and wonderful, but in the year that they've signed their contracts, millions and millions of dollars, Exactly what benefit have they brought to Rumble? To the plot. I mean, how I many would, are they getting? Ten thousand views every stream when they're playing games. Well, and that doesn't Ad even matter because I'm getting ten thousand views, and because <laughs> nice. I get featured every now and then, oh, it doesn't yeah. mean anything. No. You, and then you've got these people; their their chats are flying, but it's just because those are their little twitchers that came over. And, you know, maybe made their accounts and bots and things like that. So it, it's not real. It's not sustainable. And it's it, and it's disingenuous, in my my opinion, um, to say that we have these you know big names with all of these followers. But you're there. They are not providing value to the platform. I would argue that streamers like you guys and me and Fused and Raken and Flawed. Mr. Grant Gregory. <laughs> oh well, I forget about Australians above this uh, <laughs> above the above this uh, equatorial you know, line. The equatorial line, yeah. It's my my memory doesn't go that low. But you know, the, these different streamers, and there's hundreds of streamers that I don't know that are bringing a ridiculous amount of value to the platform. Yeah, you can't know them all. I just yeah, the, there's there's a strategy they're missing out on. Um, mm -hmm. Like they're they're fine. I think I think they have a great presence on Twitter, but I think I they're agree. I think they're that's where a lot of their just audience is. But it's not not everyone is. There's not enough people there. I think one of the best. I still think that one of the best ways that they can get younger uh, people talking about it is esports. You have a, a huge opportunity in like NASCAR. Throw their logo on on a big car, man. Like and have that racing around the track for for four hours. Like people will see it. Oh, hey, what's Rumble? Like and that's that's the those are the things. Give out a thousand t-shirts. Go to yeah. go to a big concert or something, whatever it is, you know. Have Just a give out. Con. Can we have a Rumble yeah. Con, please? Absolutely so could. It's so you okay, absolutely that's could. expensive. Right, that yeah, could be. Yeah. It doesn't have to be though. You can just you can just say, "Hey, we're gonna rent we'll do it on a your Walmart farm. parking lot," <laughs> and people just come show up, or or a park, you know, whatever. You know, you can spend ten thousand dollars. That sounds like a lot of money to you and me, but you know, to Rumble, it's it's not quite as much. 
uh, you know, ten thousand dollars to get a venue, and I promise you, the community will make it happen. I can think of twenty-five streamers right now that would be there. Seven big brand names that could be there. They could Rumble could help facilitate these bigger names being there, and that would really solidify it. And then I can, I'm I've got like five food vendors on my mind. All of these are Rumble people. Uh, right now that are all willing to be a part of this. And they you can say, advertise, oh, with the advertising, you can say, welcome to the Rumbellion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like That's it. something we, we need. We need champ. We need food. We need food people on Rumble. We need like the guys that are doing like the eating the 500 chili dogs in under five minutes kind of stuff. Like we yes. need those guys too. Yeah. Those yeah, are I don't follow yes. the uh, barbecue rays, uh, BBQ rays on Twitter. Follow them. They, uh, they're, that's a really solid guy, and um, he's got good content, and he's, he's working on uh, building his Rumble presence as well. He, uh, he's one that I thought about and uh, is very excited about the idea of doing a, a Rumble con. Hell yeah. yeah. See? There you go. I think, yeah, I think if it's something that becomes profitable enough. I mean, those events are they're expensive, mm -hmm. like for sure. So mm -hmm. I do think that there needs to be, you know, there needs, there probably needs to be a little time to build uh, right. oh yeah for sure but that at would this be point, i think it'd be like 2026 before we yeah. could even potentially yeah. see it but like I, I, there's there's just there's so much look at, look how long it, um eric july was talking about the riververse before it was even a thing oh, the no, idea of Kurt's that was out. was was mm -hmm. you know and by the time it came out it was what two and a half three years after he first mentioned it Yep. No, that's right. And it was huge. Like, I mean, that, the built built up anticipation is a good no, thing. No, it was roughly so, a year. Even if it is. Hey, Static. Well, he'd been talking be before he, about... he named, after he named it, it yeah. was roughly a year, but he'd been talking about wanting to make his own comics for a few years before yeah. that, even. Yeah, the. Uh, yep. Yeah, I, 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 I really hope that Rumble disrupts the. Like, how YouTube does things. It's been. Mm. I, they. YouTube is, as we all know, it just kind of does what it wants, and we're all just sort of beholden to their whim. Yeah. Um, so I, we the, we need some by will, to... by the way. That is true. We we because it's convenient and easy. Yeah, you know, and we're lazy. Yeah. <laughs> we you know it's it's hard to uh, you know before Rumble had the static stream. It was it was hard to have to put in and press the buttons and copy. I'm pages. sorry, but that is such a lame excuse. I agree. I agree. I um, I'm yeah, so tired is. of oh my god, I have to do three things, three steps before I can hit go live. Wah, How wah, fucking wah. lazy are you? Well, and you don't you even know, have to do that anymore now with StreamYards because as soon as you have it set up on Rumble, all you got to do is select it on StreamYards yeah, now. List. It's all yeah. still well, that, in there. It's on your list right. now. If we could just get some integration with Kick, that'll be great. Yep. Yeah, no <sighs> shit. Yeah, well, one, one thing I want to shout out, uh, I said this the other day on Twitter, that uh, Epidemic Sound uh, has integrated with Rumble. They, uh, if, yep. I don't know oh, if you guys cool. use it. Um, Never heard of but, it. Uh -uh. Epidemic Sound is where I get all my copyright free music um, for like my streams and I play in the background. I use it for uh, sound. They have sound effects and sound bites, different things like that. I use it for my post production stuff. Um, I have a, a referral code if you guys want it. Um, That's built into the Rumble you Studio, right? What's that? Is that built in through the Rumble Studio? So no, that that's not a, like a streaming platform. That is when you when you log in and create your epidemic account, you have to uh, put in what platforms that you're using uh, this so, uh, you, the license music on, um, and they've integrated with Rumble so that they can uh, have that d detection process. Make sure that right because uh, I already I I mean I do use it a fair bit. So I was just wondering, do what I have to create a new account? For it to integrate it with Rumble? No, I think I think it uh, is grandfathered in. If you already have an Epidemic account, uh, you may have to look around a little bit. I I have had an Epidemic account for a, a while, but I just got like the paid one, so I was setting it up on my phone, and that's where I noticed it in the Epidemic mobile app. Uh, I actually didn't even realize it was a thing when I was uh, on desktop setting it up. Yeah, no, I just use the website. So, 
Yeah, I yeah I'd have to find their... out where it is on the website. I used one of their things, I feel like, and then they still got like like knocked for it which i was like what the hell yeah um, that that will happen literally they give you a licensing in there and you literally just post that to it and yeah yeah oh, okay. so Maybe. yeah because i pay 20 bucks a month mm -hmm. yeah. so wow it's i mean if you're using it it's well, I, yeah i, I think did, i was on yeah, the 15 the bucks a month yearly one like. um but yeah i i use the shit out of it you know having the sound effects and music on there if nothing else these things uh really help me to get inspired uh of what i might want you know if i if i hear a, a sound effect i might be like oh man i heard something similar on like i don't know home improvement um and that's that home improvement clip is really the clip that i want um so i, I like it for inspiration as well as uh you know creation processes and they have a really good affiliate program too. It's really nice. Nice. Um, so we guys have been uh, just going to switch over to a couple of things I want to chat about since we're it's already ten thirty. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, right. I want to talk about this. Uh, what I have, I have it uh, up here. What the hell? Add it. Um, Our world. Yeah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Louisiana has state. Louisiana House has passed a bill to require classrooms that receive state funding to display the Ten mm -hmm. Commandments. Um, nice. I saw you post no. on this. No, absolutely yeah. not. Yeah. Absolutely oh, yeah. not. No. no. Absolutely <laughs> the fuck not. The last oh, thing yeah. I want teaching the kids about teaching kids about religion and the commandments is the government. Get, get, keep the government the <laughs> I, fuck out of it. Absolutely. I think I think one of the things uh that really needs to be addressed with something like this um is the whole like separation of church and state thing, which a which doesn't actually not a exist. Thing, Right, yeah, it doesn't actually it's exist. Not a thing. It was a letter, not anywhere in the Constitution. Nope, and the, it was actually a letter, literally going against the whole argument that people well, try right. saying about church and state. Right, because they wanted more church in state. Right, uh, and and it was it was really a letter, a recommendation, and a suggestion. They just didn't want. Like, they didn't want the government keep, coming in interfering with their religion, right. and that's what they were Don't worried about. It, that, it. The state can't interfere with religion, but religion Correct. can still have a say in state affairs. Well, and and I think that it's important to to point out that when you have this conversation. You have to understand that the Judeo-Christian faith, the Bible, um, has a lot of really great principles, just objectively good principles in it. Let's let's, let's yep. take God out. Let's take Jesus, salvation, creation, faith, all of it. Uh, be good with your money. Don't be a dick. Be nice to women. You know, <laughs> love people. Be nice to women. Yeah. Those are all really great things to do. Where do um, the Ten Commandments say anything about being nice to women? Well, the Old Testament is all allegory. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I tend to like that one a little bit better. Yeah, yeah I'll kind of shocked, yeah. yeah. You know, there's all kinds of great examples of women being treated like super fairly in the Old Testament, and actually like, <laughs> inherently better. But like, but to the there's point, opposite examples the too. Ten Commandments Where? should absolutely not lessons? be in any government-funded building. It shouldn't be in a, a, a mayor's office. It should not be in anything that's funded Why? by. Because I don't think the taxpayer should be Paying liable for, for so, that. So, so what just if like, I, what if I'm like the mayor the, and it's my office and I bring my own personal Ten Commandments in from the house and put it as a wall decoration? Because it's wall. not your office. You don't own it. Well, that's I you're, mean, no, it's you're an employee it's, of the state. It's paid different by if you so, allow someone to do it. It's a totally different thing if you require it. I, I do think that that's a good point there, Shag. That that yeah. if you if you Shag, uh, you're elected mayor, and that 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 is a really good point uh, to what you were saying, Common. That uh, you know, if it's your personal thing. I think it's shady. I wouldn't personally. I, I think that's there, like saying could, I couldn't have my Bible on my desk or at my work. You better not well, fire I, you. If you if you yeah. work at if you work at an office, <laughs> Laura's at, fine for though. Like you know, Midas. I think it's different than if you are the president of the United States. Now we literally all swear our oaths disagree. on the Bible. I don't it's disagree true. with what you're saying <laughs> at all. 
don't disagree with what you're saying at all. I, I, I mean, I we, we've that... seen what happens with a secular state. I hate to tell you, That's it's right. not working out very well. But you're absolutely you, right. Teaching religion. That's my problem. Is, is yeah. right, But teaching and religion, religion and having a copy of that- the God that, that's and not teaching they are God religion. and mom and dad a, that they're supposed to honor. Jesse, that's what ends a, up. But but having a copy of the Ten Commandments on the wall isn't teaching religion. And like, just having not, it on the wall does what? But what what do you do? Like what moral statement on the Ten Commandments do you disagree with that you don't think children? That has see? nothing to do with the conversation. That's that's right. Putting and it on so, the wall, so just the putting it on the wall, I has think... no actual effect. People can okay, read it. So it means what? Would Nothing. you be okay with the tenets of Islam being it? on on the wall as well? Me would personally, you, no. Me personally, sure. Okay, if I'm one of those, I like decentralization. If okay. my town and my school district is predominantly Muslim and they want to have the tenets of Islam in their school district, and that and the school district votes on it. And like it's an actual fair vote, like not some of the bullshit we've seen lately, then I don't have a problem with it. You know, okay. it's my town, it's my neighborhood. I should be able to run, we should be able to have our own independence and decide what's best for our community. You know, so as a group. I, I, think, I think that's a really interesting uh, conversation. I think that's a great point. I do think it's really interesting uh, that uh, when we talked about putting the Ten Commandments up, that you're all for it, but there's a little bit of a caveat there if we're talking about not the ten commandments well the, well here's I, well, stay on track though no real quick. i was gonna make the same Hold argument up. for the ten commandments or the other one okay okay uh-huh. great 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 one great. sec one sec uh let's oh. not get off the the actual question though is is it okay to require no state-funded schools hang the ten commandments in in like in their building absolutely it doesn't not. matter no. like it, like your your personal opinion on having the the, the Ten Commandments around isn't isn't the issue. It's mm-hmm. the requirement. Requirement, yeah. That, yeah, that, that's, that's where you the, really well, get dangerous. I don't, the you don't have to it. live in that state if you don't like it. The, okay, again, is it right to require the Ten Commandments to be in the state? Okay, let, let's take the Ten Commandments out. Is it, is, it, is it right for the, the state to say to, you have to have something that's up there basically. of any An sort of belief flag. system? Well, an American flag, an LGBTQ plus flag. Right, you right. must have this in your classroom. Yeah. Right. As opposed to you're allowed to have this in your classroom. Or no funding, yeah. It's the same kind of logic behind, um, like this is one of the reasons I like work, I love working for Eric, is because my Twitter account is my Twitter account. What I say right. up there, he doesn't care. Unless, yes. if as long as I'm doing my job, he's fine with whatever I say. So yeah. anybody can bring some kind of heat to him, and it's been done a number of times, like uh, with Andrew calling people muggles, or when um, when Brandon <laughs> called out, um, I forgot what wrestler it was, or some shit like that. Like people Respect brought it up to Eric now because like I don't fucking care. This shit ain't got nothing to do with running this business, so whatever. Or when they get upset because the Saska sisters are horror movie people. Yeah. Right. Oh, that was hilarious. What? It's yeah. They, oh, uh, people got even. people got upset because of their um their filmography their filmographical past because they've yeah. done like some really crazy shit in their um Bro, in their you previous movies. Those girls? I was about to say they're yeah. freaks, dude. Have like, have you, you seen, seen them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, Yo, the the dark headed one looks like Abby from NCIS. <laughs> you know, Which yeah. one's that? Well, yeah. It depends on what one. hair color their week is at the time. <laughs> that's, that's true. Oh. Jen, has, uh, Jen has the more angular eyebrows, and uh, Sylvia has the uh, the wider smile. Doesn't Sylvia one of them have a mole, the and the other one was, doesn't? About, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, Sylvia's got a huge smile. But um, like going back to it all, right? Yeah, like, yeah. At, like the only the only time it like a requirement would be you know, palpable, I guess you could, or palpable, whatever the word is is when it's like you know your private property if if i'm in my house and i require like or i have some rules set in play and somebody violates those rules i'm going to address it but like you know out in a public setting or something like that i'm not i'm i'm it's not my it's not my rules it's basically like you know at that point in time up to the general societal standard of like you know just be a decent person kind of thing um as far as schools and shit go I 
can't really say or what I don't know if this is like public schools or is it just like no, all public schools? schools. Public schools, school, yeah. Oh, just state public schools. Funded. So that's public even schools. worse because so like it, it also depends well, on when say, they say state funded, how what they're yeah. talking about. If it's one percent right. state funded, or you know it, the government gives them a grant, they get money based state school. funded. Well, Right, and yeah. if they're state funded, that means they're taxpayer funded, which means the taxpayers right. own them. So don't the taxpayers get to decide what happens inside of those buildings? You would think. Yeah, you would think. You would no, no, think, you're in yeah. America. That doesn't. Happen. I mean, if that was true, then half the stuff that happens in those places wouldn't be happening. No, well, if it's that so was true, true, then there would be no public education. Take your We'd have better. God, I wish. School. We wouldn't be eating pizza sauce on cardboard. <laughs> Even though it's delicious. Even though it's fucking good, I'm saying, bro. <laughs> it's better the when only, I was a kid. The, the only excuse to dip ranch in pizza is when you're eating the school pizza. Hundred <laughs> yeah, percent. Fucking yeah. breakfast pizza was bro. my life for uh, four years. Oh god, I used to love the Mexican pizza. If you, I don't know if you guys had oh, that. Yeah, the little Mexican but, ones. Yeah, you know, yeah. They'd give you like the little salsa, the little hot sauce. And it had the cheddar cheese instead of the mozzarella wow, on it. Yeah, that shit so was good. Yeah, yeah. You could totally not do that today. Fuck no, you not. couldn't. <laughs> totally. <laughs> They'd call it That's round great. pizza or something. Or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, it, right. And it wasn't round. It was actually in like a... Like uh, an octagon or something. Yeah, like a hexagon or... Yeah, right. hexagon. Oh, like a crunch wrap. I, I learned so yeah, much about... It it I learned so, so much about like, you know, um, market and economy, being in high school, just slinging yeah. chocolate milks and shit like that. It was great. Oh, Yo. <laughs> like, the underground market for cigarettes, pizza baby. And then yeah. trade that for a bag yeah. later? You already know. Y'all oh, trading God, school lunches. I was trading cigarettes. What the fuck? <laughs> well, I was trading cigarettes. Dude, I'm glad my mic was down. Nobody heard me talking about Dude, drugs. I used to, when I, when I was in school, we used to, 50 cents a cigarette is what we used to sell them for. Yep. And, 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 now yep. With, and now with all the taxes going on, each cigarette goes for $1.10. Uh, stupid. <laughs> yeah. 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 Absolutely bitch. stupid. Talk Fucking about inflation and taxes. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can we, do we, two we, for $2 if you charge $1.10. Well, you get 20 we used, cents we used off to pay the postman. The postman used to go down and buy us a carton. The who? And then we'd, <laughs> nice. give, him, we'd, we'd, give, him, we'd give him 20 mailman. bucks. So, nice. The mail? I don't know if, mail I don't, no. Postman. I don't, I just don't postman know if I've ever heard anybody shit. call it postman in real life before. The postman. You know there's a song that goes, hey, uh, what is it? wait a minute, Mr. Mr. Postman. No, there's only one song about a postman, and it's Postman Pat. No, no there's totally two songs about it. Marriage, marriage and culture. Right? What the hell is wrong with you? Kevin Costner. Let's be have you met me? Oh, you yes, go. I have. I still haven't figured out what's wrong with you. <laughs> that's wrong with that's good. There's a lot of things wrong with him. That's the problem. See, there you go, right there. I used to burn mm. CDs for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. See, there yeah. Bro. Yeah. That's hilarious. Bro. That's, bro. that's a good idea. Dude, I Absolute. did. I used to burn CDs for shit, for money. I got, yeah. I got Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Bro, we made some fucking plays back in the day. It was great. Oh, yeah. Fucking oh, yeah. Dude, fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I was one of the first kids with a, CD, with a CD burner and access to Napster. Oh, that's yeah. fucking good. Bye, Shags. <laughs> Good seeing you, buddy. Okay, Don't well, worry. I guess this is y'all show now. Oh, yeah, it happens, the the it happens all the time. It happens all the time. The midweek pudge. <laughs> uh, I did well, want to say one to thing uh, before Uranus it got too late. You sponsor me. Oh, yes. Go ahead. Uh, this is my last show. I just wanted to let... Uh, just tell people that. <laughs> That's not a womp worthy thing. So you don't have like um, a bad music button. I just uh, I wanted to thank the entire audience and everybody on the panel uh, for the great 101 episodes, uh, for all the great memories we've made and and everything like that. Uh, everybody has been so amazing. I want to emphasize that I'm not leaving for any reason or bad feelings everybody has been great from beginning to end um i love all of these guys uh yeah it's actually grant is the reason i'm leaving no i'm not <laughs> no, i thought it was because shag started bringing me on uh now grant's a linchpin maybe <laughs> <laughs> but consequently i said oh we're having pudge on this week and she goes this is my last episode actually <laughs> like, uh, fair, i actually said it was my last that episode is... before he said you were oh, bringing you on uh, so uh, it's that's not, not that's not how it came out in my group chat that's not how it was <laughs> in my group chat okay. everybody now has to right. change their they have to change their usernames to thanks pudge <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to come up with an R.I.P. horror. We're just all going to pretend <laughs> she's, 
going yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 We'll get like a little memorial clip we could play to be like, rest in peace, horror. That'll be perfect. Yeah. Episode <laughs> zero <laughs> to episode 101. Is this her avatar floating in the clouds? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> have, a, yep. have a little tombstone come up from the bottom. It's got horrors. Yeah. Right. So, perfect. The closing time song. <laughs> maybe, maybe that me- was that meme where like it's it's the dude like in the chair sitting there and then he turns and just shoots him instead. <laughs> oh the um eric andre meme yeah the eric andre. Uh, no devastator i i mean it that's not a joke yeah this um, is, yeah it's, she's it's, uh, it's not a guys it's not a joke she's been mulling I'm it sorry. over for a, for for a bit and this is you know her i've got some other move. things that i need to do and i need the time and as, as much fun as it is it's mm. There's it's there's the lot. things I gotta do. Like I don't know if anybody I don't know if, anybody, don't know if anybody's paid attention to um the abysmal horror or uh, abysmal oh, critic. God, you can't even get it right. Nah, yeah, now it's known as the abysmal critic. horror. Abysmal. Uh, I am not changing the name again, but you are well, redrawing the name for Avatar been paying now. Paying attention to the abysmal <laughs> critic, but that channel has grown exponentially faster than her current her um her streaming channel. Oh my god. Yeah, like, um, and all she's doing is like being consistent with uploading videos. So that's all. That's all it is, man. Stay yeah. consistent. And I will Stay start consistent. putting them on Rumble soon. They're gonna actually start coming out on Rumble immediately after I finish recording them, Good. and then they'll be out on YouTube the next day. Let's or the go. next morning. YouTube, get the sloppy seconds. That's there you go. Right. I just got to get the channel set up on Rumble. So oh, yeah, she's have, absolutely killing it. In, uh, I it, absolutely will. You know. He, I, I like I've to I like before. to think that uh, it's not it's obviously not my own influence, but my head canon says it is. And that God like uh, at one point in time, she told me I was doing too much um, as far as upload, trying to upload videos and draw and do video game streams and stuff mm. like that. I was doing far too much and burning myself out. So yes. I stepped yes. back from doing videos. My last YouTube video was like well over a year ago. And it was um, about Pokemon. Bullet. Yeah, part five is going to come out soon. That, that's, <laughs> part five is going to happen. But um, then we're going to get yeah, the Pokemans. Cut. But I, I basically take I've taken my focus from Pokemon. like YouTube and like streaming and stuff like that, and put that directly to like drawing this manga that I really want to do and uh, working with Eric, obviously. So and then taking oh, yeah, care of me and taking care of uh, taking care of the squid as well. So that's where all my energy is going. And I have a, a way more uh, like joy in my life. I'm not mm. like always depressed and shit like that. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, some, sometimes you got to shags. You listening? Sometimes you got to step back <laughs> from uh, doing so damn much. Listen, and, uh, I, you know, I just, just recognize something. You sit did, on the back but then you stop. I don't know. Pudge was telling us to do more things. You're telling us to do less. I don't know what to do anymore. You got to balance it. Out, You've got to do yeah. the right amount of things. Listen, actually. It's, do you know, we're, like, uh, we're like the two, the we're like the two uh, Kronk sitting on uh, Kronk's shoulder. It's like, he's the devil and I'm the angel. Why you why I sleep when devil? you're dead, Kathy. I'm the white devil? For a reason. Yes, you're the white devil. <laughs> I'm the white That's devil. That's why I'm leaving, okay. remember? Please. No, 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 no. Come on. She's got a point. We run on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I, I, you're 100% right, Sheep. And I, the, well, after after my hospitalization and stuff, like, I mean, I, I cleared most of what I was doing and then even talking with a, had several conversations with my therapist about reprioritizing like the things I actually want to do. And even talking with my wife about just like sort of the goals and where I'm want to go with, with everything. But I think that, I mean, I, I even shelved like my writing because I wasn't Mm -hmm. going anywhere with it, but I kept trying to like make that a part of my routine, but it was just adding more stress, like doing a stream like four to five times a week, just, or even not even that I wasn't even trying to do that many streams, but it was like, I was staying up that late yeah. and not going to bed. Whereas like yeah. now it's like, okay, it's either Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And that's it. Unless there's some, but there's only three streams a week. And I, and I can't give more than that. Um, I'm starting to talk with people about doing like clips from these shows just so mm-hmm. I can upload something. That's like a shorter, like, you know, there's, we'd had a great more conversation content. about rumble tonight. We had a good conversation about, you know, the uh, the Ten Commandments uh, bill, like those things. I want to start sharing with people on smaller things, but I can't. I can't personally. I can't give more time. So it's a lot. Or I like. I understand totally where you're at. When you told me, I was like, I mean, it makes sense because you you have a channel that you want to grow. You have goals and and things that you want to reach. 
and you can't let other things get in the way of your like where you want to be and like i said so, <laughs> before i mean 100 episodes of this show is i mean I, i'm not mad at any of you guys if any if all of you said yeah we're good i'd be like dude that was a fucking hell of a run like that was that was the best 100 episodes of anything i've ever done i never thought we'd get to 100 quite honestly like i mean that's a lot <laughs> two years so i mean mm. as as sad as it is to see you go like i i mean i understand it's it's gonna be you're gonna do so great you've already done awesome with this new channel and to see you like really enjoy the process like it, there's nothing better so Love it. Yeah. yeah congrats to you horror no, yeah, thank you. Sure. For, yeah. No, I'm going to be bitter about man. it. I'm, I'll, I'll pout. So. Grant, you have my phone number. You have my DMs. You have all that stuff. So if, if you ever really miss me, you can always reach out and we can chat. Because uh, I you love anymore. you that much. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to send you messages and like, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your iPad? <laughs> That's one of them. Oh, wait, hold on. My phone no, just I'm an off. Android user. Oh, that makes sense. Hell yeah. yeah. Shout out. Damn straight yeah. it does. Practical. Android, baby. Oh, Shout out, cool. Android. Complicated? Um, Why you gotta oh, oh. make things so... Go ahead. Wow, that was a throwback. <laughs> Ain't it? You know that's not in the playlist? I don't you even know what you said. Not it's Avril Lavigne. Oh, Avril Lavigne. Yeah, we have a travel playlist because we the, the fought parody, one time the after parody's time. better, I think. We'd have par it parody. Why do I have to get so constipated? Yep. <laughs> oh, that was... go get so constipated. Thank you for reminding me, yeah. parody. So I'm gonna go that, ahead that's and pull weird, up. Al. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna pull up uh, YouTube Music right now and add some Weird Al to the trip playlist. Well, it it starts with them being okay. constipated, and then it turns out that they're actually both related to each other, and they move to Alabama and have a bunch of kids together. <laughs> Sounds accurate. American I'm culture at its finest. Yep, yep. Um, real quick, I did get to the first one. I did see that one. Reich and Knight had said, uh, "Hell yeah, we got Pudge on the midweek hunt." But he also came back with another five My spot guy. and said, "We got a few Rumble gamers together in Vegas without yeah. the help of Rumble and had a and had a fun hangout stream." Yeah, dude. That's ooh, ooh. like, yes. That's the other thing I wanted to talk about. Yeah. But you can finish that first. No, I was just gonna say it was it was great to see like the Rumble guys show up who yeah. not necessarily affiliated with everything that we've been doing or YouTube even. Right. I was like, hey, we're here mm -hmm. to represent Rumble. They had their hats on, yeah. shirts, whatever. You know, oh, it was yeah, great meeting sure. them all. They were all very sweet. Yeah, yeah I got some yeah, questions very cool about to, that very for you cool guys page. when uh, you get done, horror. Okay, uh, so. The thing I wanted to talk about is the fact that we need to stop relying on FNT and Geeks and Gamers to get us together. Yes. We are a powerful community with some smart people, and we absolutely have to start getting ourselves together. We mm -hmm. are all in these little areas. There's so many more people who yes. are involved in this in your area. I promise you, in your area right now that know what we're talking about. Watch these same people, and we can all get together and have fun. I can tell you right now, we were in the fucking Albertsons here in teeny tiny in the middle of Montana, walking through, and this guy stops us and says, hey, those are neurotic jacks. Okay. And we're like, holy shit, there's other okay. people here. If they're yeah. here, they're wherever you are. I can absolutely promise you that. And in that, uh, yes, and in your areas, there are also horny blondes. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I don't know why that was relevant. Funny, horror spot on, too, because like I was I was flying back to I was flying back to South Texas at the DFW airport. And I and I was walking in. I had my Yaira shirt on, and literally a preacher was like, what? "Oh, you like you like no bullshit." It was a preacher. He's like, "Oh, you like Eric July, huh?" I was like, "What?" And so we started talking. I was like, "Yeah, I just got back from Vegas for the FET meetup, yada yada yada." He's like, "Well, I'm actually a preacher for yada 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 church." I'm like, "I drive by that all the time. I know exactly where you are." And so yeah, now we follow mm -hmm. each other mm -hmm. on Twitter, mm -hmm. and we're gonna go for okay. lunch. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, so, yeah, like, <laughs> that's exactly the type of shit I'm talking about. Yeah. We have to start. If we want this to be a movement, we all have to start mm. moving. We gotta start yeah. fucking moving. Exactly, it. exactly. Right. It doesn't matter what direction you're moving, but you have to start planning and talking and getting things together. Yeah. I know there are people here who all individually, you're, you're sitting in your area right now and you're staring at the screen and saying, "This bitch don't has any idea what she's talking about." There is no one here like me within a hundred miles. Now think about how far you're willing to drive. 
to have lunch with a bunch of people and make a big circle. And I can promise you there's probably at least 10 people within that circle. Yeah. Well, I think, to, and well, like maybe not point. 10, maybe five, but still. Also to your point, I think like taking a chance on connecting with, with people, you know, like there's, we have to step outside of, out of the box, right there. We're going to have, we, even with, even people with common interests, sometimes, you know, it, it, we don't always see eye to eye on everything, but we got to take a chance. Like, oh, maybe this person, maybe we'll click with them. Maybe mm -hmm. I could sit down with them. Like, there's a there's a guy I know who's not involved with any of this stuff, but I want to have him over my house, set up two cameras and two mics, and have have do a podcast in person with them. I mean, I I mean, you guys know we lo love sitting in that studio, looking at each other. Like, I want to oh, try yeah. and start doing that, like maybe weekly with him, you know, or once That's a dope. month or something. And it who knows, we might branch out from there. He might know somebody. It, you know what I mean? And it could go around or he might know someone who's aware of the fellowship. I haven't met many right. people around here who know I, there's a few, I think down South that follow um, some of us. And I, I think there's a couple, like, I don't know. I think there's some comic skate people who are near nearby that have poked in and said hello a couple of times. But I mean, there are people around. They're just, you know, you, you got to, step outside the box you got to try and connect and you and i said on twitter or like i would love to make salt lake city a place that like we can get people together we have a fan expo here It'd be an awesome city there's a lot to do around here um and it's a great place because there's this weird mix of like you know classic conservative people and then there's like this wave of you know these college students you know blue haired liberal you know yeah yeah. Ooh, ooh. Well, some of them are perfectly good people just don't talk about politics right but there's there's <laughs> there's a great opportunity in everyone's city not just here yep. but everyone's area to to mix mix and mingle with people and get to know them and and see who's where so uh but in in support of that uh kratos el gratos has started a discord server and we're trying to mobilize so that we can start helping people plan things in their areas. So if you are interested in that, uh, get a hold of me and let me know, and I will send you an invite to it because we absolutely want, uh, I, I mean, I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I absolutely want the rest of us to really start. And this is coming from a severe introvert. You can ask sheep. I would much rather be sitting at home nine times out of 10, but the reality of it is, if we want the world to change, then we have to start changing the world. And part of that is getting together and doing things together and showing people, showing ourselves that there's more than just us out there and that we can have fun and do these things and, and change just even our little area, which leads to changing the world. So, yeah. uh, honestly, seriously. Yeah. Yeah, and shouts to King for saying no disrespect to FN, FNT, G&G &G and others fandoms are fine but there is so much re reliance on them to do these events mm, and there will be a point where more and more people will be left out absolutely yep. these guys grow and they're huge and even there was even like this past meetup where people were upset because they felt oh we were left out because we aren't members and we didn't see the link like yeah like already, pudge yeah <laughs> like like pudge you know poor guy uh <laughs> <laughs> screen cap uh, i wish you'd oh, been big enough to screen cap on that one oh he ran away you hurt his feelings Coward. now he's gonna cry Coward. i don't know why everyone's leaving already, me today i already got the cap it's going up on uh that's twitter a, right now the memers want to get to it this is, this is the gif of me looking <laughs> <laughs> no 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 we're not that fancy here it's not a gif it's just a still image <laughs> oh, okay. uh, well, you've been eight AI, so i mean I guess, you know well, that's what I was going to say. Let's Grant's feeling frisky and then give him a little time with the AI. And that's, we'll that's we'll have right, him right, right. all kinds of horrible things. But what that 70s seconds. rock fan is saying is is actually the the point of what I'm saying. Hanging out with, I mean, getting to talk to Gary and and J and Jeremy and, and everybody else. You only get so much time with them because there's so many other people yeah. there. And now they do, don't get me wrong, they do an amazing job of in that moment, they're talking to you. They're not talking around you or about you or anything like that. They're talking to you and their focus is on you. But the better part is everybody else who's there and getting to meet everybody else who's there and hanging with everybody else who's there. And and we can have that. We can have more of that all the time. We just have to put it together. That's all. 
yeah. that's absolutely right. And I think that a lot of the times that's the the biggest issue with people like us, um, conservatives, right wingers. Sane Indep- people. We're, we're, we're two liberty independent people. <laughs> we're independent right. people. We're, we're just so quiet, right? You know, uh, we're not loud and obnoxious and obtuse and in your face all the time <laughs> for the most part. Um, <laughs> you, you, you haven't been to one of these meetups, have you? No, I haven't. <laughs> oh, oh, just wait. You think I'm loud on camera. Thing, though, oh, my guys, God, it's right? loud in person. <laughs> I project it's not my fault. Exactly. Well, that's where that that sentiment comes from. But, you know, for the most part, we're just, like, doing our own thing. We've got our own stuff going. We want to make our own content. We want – yes, we want to do community a lot of the times. But for the most part, we're trying to work and provide for our families. We don't have time to be, like, starting – sitting in the middle of the fucking road blocking traffic to airports. Uh, We don't have time for that crap. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I, but I think that that is our problem. A lot of the times is that we're not loud enough. We don't make things happen enough. We don't move and we don't change the world enough. Yeah. And it's the tiny, but it's the tiny things that you have. You're That's right. all you have to change. Just the tiny things right. because you get together with a couple of friends who, who have the same, not even the same political views, but the same cultural views as you. Mm-hmm. Right? Cause you can, Dis- disagree politically but still be in the same place culturally yes. and then you know you all go away feeling good you talk to another person about how good you're feeling and what you're doing and they kind of start feeling the same thing and they shift over a little bit and it becomes this big wave and then you know uh, that that's the hippie in me uh but you know uh-huh. uh that that's well, the way it is it's eh, Things will never no, be no we don't we don't do that here <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm allergic to it. So, okay. um, but yeah, I mean, and, and I just, I would really love to see the community start doing that to start growing past or well, as, as Gary would call it the fellowship because you know, community commies pretty right. close. Yes, they are. They are. But I would like to see us grow in that respect where we can become our, in many ways, our own culture and not yes. need to rely on anybody to do that because we can do it ourselves. Yep. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's hard. If it's you want to meet up with some people online, just do it. I mean, we did, we did our uh, quote unquote Mozicon for our full Aussie guys and we had a couple of people turn up and that's all it was. It was more about just us getting together and mm-hmm. um, right. hanging out. And there is there's something different about sitting across from someone who you've chatted with online for two years. Yep. Just yep, feels yep. different. Yeah. And they always look like they always look taller or shorter or whiter or skinnier than what you see them online. Always. Right. I didn't even realize that Sheep City was Sh- black until the, the all the pictures come out. Like <laughs> right. Shag, Shag's, Shag, Shags is so much shorter in person than he makes himself look like. He looks like he should be a giant compared and I see him with does. everyone. I'm like, oh my god, he's my yeah. height. Oh yeah, God! You put him next to Static, and he's so tiny. <laughs> yeah, Static is huge, <laughs> dude. Bro, that's fine. and he's here's like, the, here's a here's the funny thing about like Static and his brother. As tall as they are, Doctor Disrespect is still taller. <laughs> I know that's mm-hmm. wild. Oh, it, oh wow, is he dude, really? super tall. He's what six eight or something? Six eight. Yeah, yeah. Thirty seven inch vertical is- leap. Because I don't feel that's, short, that's which nice. is weird. But yeah, some of the yeah. people at the meetup surprised me at, at their their height. I didn't expect Dermy to be so tall. Oh, dude, Dermy's, Dermy's a I, I knew, giant. I knew he was because he stood troll. up one time, and I went, I went, holy shit, how are you taller than your door? And he went, oh, I'm six foot five. I went, no, you're not. And then he stood next to it. I went, oh shit. I saw pictures yeah. of him from what, like Matsuri or something, and I was like, God, he is a monster. But getting next to him, it's like, yeah, Jesus, yeah. How's the weather up there, homeboy? Apparently, his brother's as tall as Dr. Disrespect. Jesus. That's insane. Imagine being that tall. Good to know. No, thanks. I'm fine at my height. It must have been nice. Vincent, I'm about to fucking chuck you. Go away. It was. It's like you should have come or something. That was a great idea you had here in the future. (laughs) The first time she said that. (laughs) (laughs) Grant went the same place I did. Would have been great if somebody mentioned that to me before the event. <laughs> well, you Gotta know. Watch FNT. 
We'll, we'll figure well, out well, an event you can go to. Well, I did. I did know about it. I just logistically uh, couldn't make it, it happen. happen. Yeah. yeah. Um, That's totally fair. So, you know, I, w- I was super uh, jealous but pumped for uh, everybody uh, that I knew that was going right in, fused, all that, that gang. Um, the gamers, Error, and his wife. Uh, lots of lots of really fun guys and girls that uh, that were at the event with you guys. So next year I'll be there for sure. I mean, unless I'm dead. What could happen? I mean, wow, that's pretty grim. Happen. Hey, that's this the worst happen. that could happen. So I mean, that's what know, I mean. It's not the worst. Outside of that, well, you know that, or you know, living in Kim Kardashian's pocket would be worse than dying, uh, or voting for Biden. Man, how much does she pay you? Grant, that's horrifying. That is. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Well, I'm not going to open that. <laughs> Clicks link. Pudge is very, very awful. <laughs> uh, off, he's, uh, he is awfully quiet. Sorry. The he's actual awful. fuck! Wow. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Take it down. I'm afraid to click oh, that link now. <laughs> I shouldn't have fucking clicked that link. Sorry. I'm that clicking right? links. Hold up. I'm not clicking. Oh, don't what? click. Oh, what? Don't click. Oh, don't click. Oh, my God. Don't click. Oh, God. Don't click. Oh, God. Don't click. Oh, God. It makes me feel icky. I love it. <laughs> this is what? fantastic. Welcome to memes. What the fuck happened? I don't oh know. I melted. Oh, don't don't, don't, don't yeah, play it on the stream. It's like this part way it. through, he turns into a mannequin. Yeah, and his play it. Pulls in as he falls over. Oh my god! It's like a Grant. What's what's that? First, it's that first episode when oh they melt all the plastic men. What's the fucking? Yeah, it's like an automaton. Yeah, it's an automaton. Pudge was in a wax museum. That was a thousand fucking degrees. This is fantastic. Fantastic. Holy oh, shit. Don't ever do that again to me. I have nightmares. <laughs> do it again. So that all that means is Grant is going to do it even more now. Oh, yeah. I yeah. No, he likes means. to do that kind yeah. of stuff to people. That's all that means. Whoa! It's so <laughs> scary. But I no, still don't know what he's done with my voice. I still don't know what he did with I don't. I don't know if you guys feel the same things I do. <laughs> Probably not. It's not, not our faith. No, I'm not, 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 any, not anymore. Not anymore with Grant. Uh, we're, we're all kind of just used to it by now. Person. I hope you feel as violated as the rest of us did the first time. No, I actually do. <laughs> well, last it's time, okay. last time you were on, okay. I did an AI song because I was I wasn't there. I figured I'd right. do an AI video. Man, so. you went all out. Thank you. Um. <laughs> That seemed like a very uncertain thank you. Well, I wasn't yeah, sure. Weird. Uh, <laughs> if, Should I say well, you? Well, I'm not sure I'm thankful for this. I sure. well, exactly. I don't want to be impolite, but at the same time, holy fuck. Uh, <laughs> well, now you don't have to wonder what you would be like as a candle. You know. <laughs> Correct. Because <laughs> that question has been plaguing me since I was 18. Yeah. Um, so thanks, Grant. Like wow! It's okay. He'll be here all week. Don't worry. I feel about like I'm having an existential week. crisis. <laughs> Jesus, what a best part about it is when you think about it just before you go to sleep tonight. Oh God! I'm As you're melting into tonight. your pillow, going to sleep, <laughs> melting into your pillow, you're laying there Every thinking, "Is see? my face Every... melting but, off?" No, like I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be laying there awake, and I'm gonna turn over like that. And, and you're gonna do that this. Image is gonna go through my mind. <laughs> What? Every single time you say no. something melted, a chocolate bar, doesn't matter what it is. Right, I'm yep. just gonna... It's, it's gonna be one of two... Yourself when you're hungry. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be one or two things. Grant is on the stream. Every time the M&M's melt in your hand, you're gonna see yeah. your face now. You're gonna see... I, I, I'm not gonna eat They don't melt in your mouth. They melt in your mouth, not in your hand. Yeah, no, they're not gonna melt anywhere. They like always melt. melt in my hand. Chocolate. You got one... <laughs> So there I was just... supposed to be a little bit more laughter after that. Yeah, yeah. for that. Some kind of sound effect. You're welcome, Pudge. You're I'm welcome. gonna go dream about melting Pudge. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> it's what? gonna be like. A, well, that, you that should. I've been fantasizing about melting your pages. So. Yo, what's up? Hey, yo, Camelot. Camelot. Sleep again. Camelot. We'll see, what's going on, buddy? You're just what in shock, time, Camelot. Because I was just gonna share this. There, there in Utah, there was a school. Some kids walked out. Nebo School District in Utah to yep. protest school for allowing furries to terrorize 
the other students. Good. Oh, wow. Um, students yep. claim that the furries bit them or bite them, bark at them, and pounce on them without repercussion. However, if they defend mm. themselves in any way, <coughs> they get in trouble. Well, I'm not going to lie. If they're going to bite and pounce and all that shit, I'm going to shoot and slap and other shit. Right? I, I, would, like, I would like to see proof on this because let, let's face it. We're, we're talking about high schoolers. Yeah, they do tend to be dramatic and they do tend to exaggerate. Well, so I would realistically <laughs> like to see proof on it. It's awful if these things are doing it. Oh, no, she died. Oh, um, no, we lost her. Oh, no. Squid um, down, squid down. Squid down. That's how she chooses to leave the show? Wow. All yeah, right, so wow. right, guys. Well, this is my last rest, episode. Rest in peace, horror. Rest in peace, horror. <laughs> oh, did you just melt? Oh, sorry. Oh, oh damn it, Grant. <laughs> melted the squid. I think Sheep might be gone, too. So Well, maybe yeah, if issues. she's gone, he's gone, yeah. too. Well, yeah, let's, for let's, sure. Uh, really? Video... I thought he said he was staying. Their internet probably just went out. That's that's kind of what it seemed like. To her point, though, um, I, it kind of gives me a little bit of confidence that it's students in Utah, as opposed to like students in California or New York, where you know they're just a bunch of well, the, soft the students panties. in California wouldn't have been allowed to protest this. Oh well, yeah, naturally. This, yeah, and th this has actually been something that even my brother-in-law has told me that his like some of his kids have said in like is yeah. happening in schools like yeah. it's becoming it's probably an issue. kids from California coming over to Utah. I promise I didn't die. I, I didn't die. die. There we go. Oh, they're alive. Welcome back. Yeah. Welcome back. Thanks, guys. That's right. Did, uh, right. did right. Davy Jones take you down to the locker? No, oh, that. I had to go spank sheep. Oh, geez. Thank you for turning off the internet for that. <laughs> the, the, and here's the thing, right? We're coming back. I'm sitting here thinking to myself, oh, I was going to read Camelot's comments in Camelot's accent, but then she said that. I don't even care to do anything anymore. How would you? Okay, can you? Let's let's read his comments in his accent. Let, can you do What's one? Sound I want to like? hear it. What's he sound like? Well, do do uh, this one. Oh. Oh, for. Oh, we were going to highlight the same one. <laughs> <laughs> Furry is just another word for autistic. I can't even do it, man. I can hear it in my head, but I can't do it. <laughs> it's great. Come on, sheep. You can do it, sheep. Come on, sheep. Come on, sheep. Furry? Furry? Nah. Oh, no, wait. Horror's thingy's frozen. You got to do his, you gotta do his man. Oh, oh they, 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 I think they're, they're, they're gone internet. again. Yeah, yeah he's looking at horrors. Look at horrors. Yep. Avatar. Was hanging. It's frozen. Yeah, and she's spanking him again. This is yeah. nice. Now, see, yeah. that doesn't make me feel as uncomfortable as Grant's artwork. Um, Static, this That's might be one of the school districts that does. I know I've heard of one mm, nearby. Heard about that. That, That's that a happened. real thing, guys. That's crazy to me. So. Yeah, they will put in little boxes. I remember that because the same boxes? thing happened with um, Rogan's kid in his class. That's when he pulled oh, him out. And went to the no. Bro, that was his last drug in the hell out. To me. That's, there, there has to be some sort of legal health standard violation to have a fucking kitty litter box in a class yeah, especially if they identify as a dog right. how offensive I'm muted and, and like how I'm do not, you keep them from fighting all day long well i mean do we get fire hydrants in every classroom like, great I'm, just question. like I'm curious how this works it's a great question and how do you keep the cats and dogs off of each other right Right. right? Yeah. Like, do you just do what? Well, I would love to know what training school your dog went to. No shit. If you can exactly. keep him off of all of the cats that he's surrounded by in school. because Dog training school. I'm yeah. just saying, I, I hit my dogs a lot and they still bark at the cats. Dude. Put them in a cage. Put them in a cage. Yeah. Hit the cats then every time a dog barks at them. There you go. Try that. <laughs> See, it's affirmation my... for the dogs. See, what, what you got to do, right? What you got to do is you got to grab the dog by the scruff. And when you, but if when you think about pushing them down, instead pick them up and throw them across the street. Oh wow, you must have uh, smaller dogs than I do. Probably. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, sheep. <laughs> you you got to see this in Camelot's voice. Oh my God! What? Maybe some no. Man. Nah, not fight, maybe some maybe fight some milk will milk. help. Fight I already said. Uh, see, I said the uh, see, I said the autistic line, but uh, but then the fucking neck cut out. Cause my shit sucks. Yeah, I didn't hear it. 
Yeah, because it cut out. I don't believe Let's you said it. it. But you got to do Furry like Furry is just look. another word for autistic. <laughs> Maybe some fat milk will help. Maybe some fat milk. I'm going racing in the in the cyber frog car, de- Talladega. Can't wait. Can they stop puddle on that one, please? It's Great, just not. It. It's just not working. It's just not working. It's just not working. Impersonations are my favorite. Yeah, dude. Camelot's a great one to a person. He's got so much personality. Like he's yeah, 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 yeah. He does. He does. Um, yeah, he, he's a great guy for a retard. He's yeah, yeah. <laughs> for, for a retarded guy. He's the best. Shout out Camelot. He's the best. <laughs> Shout out Tom Diggins. See, he gets... Shout out retards. God Shout bless out the retards. retards. God bless the retards. Where's Lockyer? God, God, God bless yeah. the retards. God bless the retards. Shagalot and Camelot. Well, if he did, they wouldn't be retarded. Well, Hit the like uh, button, dude. No, that's, that's not, not true. Camelot, we're talking about after show. the fact, Grant. Or maybe, we're gonna get Camelot on the Grant, show at some point. Maybe retarded people to... are happier. Maybe yeah, they exactly. Are. Oh, they are. Exactly. If you if you've ever if you ever met someone with Down they? syndrome, they're the happiest people on the planet. They are 100%. exactly. That's dude, what I'm saying. Look, Camelot, look how happy he is, and he's retarded. Look at him. There was a kid with Down He's not very retarded. He's just like slightly. Just slightly retarded. Don't let him fool you. He's slightly retarded. He's just a little retarded. Uh, he's not even driving hard. a straight line. He just keeps going around in circles and circles all the time. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that could be considered a line. Listen, Talladega, we're, we're just going to do a bunch of left hand turns in the cyber frog truck. Yep. You got to come down. Check it That's out. Good. That's good. Can't, I, there's something about his, I'm missing something there. Alabama. You yeah. don't have enough uh, of a mullet. You, you uh, know, he's got, put he's got some more good. energy into you. Once more with feeling. You need to remember that you're going to bang oh, your random neck ass oh. tonight, and you're going to kick her out before the morning. That's listen, what we doing. just need. <laughs> listen, folks, we need a, we need a tall beer. glass of fat milk. We're, we're, we've got to hit it. we got to get them red boys. we got to get them red boys. Come on now. We're going to get our fat milk. we got a little bit of, what is this called? I don't remember. It's the blue milk. We can pour them in. And then top it off with some whiskey. And all right, cheers, brothers. Forgot the eggs. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Cr- oh, shit. <laughs> what, 12 raw eggs? How do you forget the eggs and the fat milk? It, two or he does two or three. I forget what it is. See, now I trust you. I do. So I'm just hungry. Is that All weird? Right. I I impersonate you because I love you, Camelot. No, no yeah, he's mocking. Was it? Uh, I believe him. He's mocking. Impersonating him. or something that's like a impersonation is the ultimate form of flattery or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah imitation, Im- imitation is the most sincere. Imitation. Is shout out form. to the Red Boys. Shout that's out. That's right. Red shout boys. out to the Red yep. Boys. There you go. Shout out. Yeah. Well, it seems I'll racist, do, I'll do a but, fight uh, I like to event. call them Native Americans. See, there you go. That's what you're missing, Shags. You got your shirt still on. You got to take your shirt off to do it properly. I, that's what that's I also don't strange. hear Snake Eater playing, right. motherfucker. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> right we get a couple that's red right. boys in here. I'll, I'll be doing Snake Eater some fight. There you go. There Trust you go. He'll take his shirt um, off for that. Yeah. I'm still in a dream. <laughs> I love watching him do that. Snake eater. Only, only if Alabama's going to grab her cell phone from behind the fucking chair. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I missed oh, that no. stream, I guess. <laughs> Get on it, dog on it. Get on it, dog on it. Oh, yeah, dude. I forgot. Um, and and the is- outro. The outro. Oh, yeah. Cam, Cam, if I met, if we ever get on the show, I will do a fight melt with you. God damn it! You didn't do the outro. Bye. Bye. Yeah, that yeah. fight milk sounds like the worst, one of the worst Bye. things ever. Ryan said it really wasn't that bad though. I'd do it with. I have fresh chicken eggs. If I ever had to do one though, that would be fun. Yeah, Just yeah. Go, it's not, yeah, it's better it's, to do them you, instead of style not ones. That bad. If you chug yeah. quick enough. It you like it's a little. You bit. don't even taste it. Just you just open your throat up. Yeah. Just let it all in. Yeah, just yeah. let it all yeah. in. That's what you just taste it like it in milk. your mouth and pretend you like it. That's, that's, right. Right. that's what just, you always got to tell. Open your mouth, make it pretty. Yeah, don't forget and swallow. To the that's swallow. Every last piece, every last yep. drop. Don't yep. miss a drop. Yeah. It's gonna feel it's gonna feel slimy at first. Don't worry about it. Just keep really chugging. Really good. <laughs> so good. It's um, really yeah. It really is though. It's it's the yolks that get you. I, I highly yeah. recommend uh, mixing it up a little bit. So you don't fear the uh, of the uh, yolk go down, uh, and it's more more smooth. So yeah. that's just my opinion after you know a few years of doing it. Nah, just open there, yeah. your throat and let it all in. Yeah, yeah you right. know what? Basically, exactly. Basically, if she yep. can do it. Yep. You can do it. All right, that's bro. Exactly right. That's exactly right. <laughs> Basically.
I saw, like about voice I saw a, uh, a video yesterday of a mom telling uh, the, uh, <laughs> That's what the kid the college sports have proven like, <laughs> how to eat their vegetables. And and that's Long what she way. said to her. She was like, just put it in your mouth, pretend you like it. And the dad, you know, he was like videoing and he was just like behind the camera. Like <laughs> 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 she looks at him like, stop it. <laughs> trying to be See, serious. The ultimate response would have been, but I thought you did like it. <laughs> that's right. What do you mean? You've been lying? God damn it, Jenny. I would have been like, all right, Kevin, your mom knows what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wanted to uh, share this too. We talked about with this. Uh, Christopher Rufo had shared a video um, about Catherine Mayer, Catherine Mayer, who I know that guy. For NPR. The Chris guy, not the oh, Catherine yeah, the, yeah, the guy. I don't know the Rufo guy. guy. He, he, does, he, he does a lot he's of work. Uh, he's a journalist. Yeah, he's cool. Um, okay. yeah, then, oh, Rufio, not Rufio. I thought you talked about the guy from yeah. Peter Rufy. Pan. Rufio. Oh. No, 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 that was no, Vegas. We're not talking Rufy. about yeah, your Rufy's, Tuesday night dates. Rufio's mm-hmm. were Vegas. Rufio's were Vegas. But this was... So she did Wednesday's TED Talk, too. Anyway. Bam. And um, Libby Evans had shared some of her TED Talks, basically about how... TED Talks. It, her her TED Talk was, was about people's... Their truth. We've all heard that, right? Like, well, oh, we can't. God, yeah. It's no. hard to tell what facts are because people have different truths. Oh, yeah. um, but then she was truth. also talking about how it's like hard to censor things that aren't like right. So th- again, these are people who are in charge of like media. NPR is one of the yeah. biggest news radios, national public radio. Um, we literally pay for it, right? Well, yeah, I it's hate it. Nobody it's fucking our listens to it. I hate NPR so much. Uh, me too. I try. I really try to listen to it, guys. Because I, I want to know what's going on on both sides and understand the opposition, right? But, God, NPR is so hard to listen to. Well, like, I remember back... Was she like, filming from a porn set? Oh, no! Oh, shit, right? <laughs> oh, shit. We know what's going on after after she's done with this Oh, uh, right. You're using right. your OnlyFans camera, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that feeding the ducks? I need to pull the feeding the ducks up right. again. Uh, but it's like it's one of those situations where like I used to you used to be able to listen to the NPR on like election really? night like in yeah. the early 2000s and like actually trust oh what they God. were saying and stuff like that. And now if you listen to them on election night and like say a Republican wins, it's like they're gonna have be having a meltdown literally, you know. And it's like you, they used to be able to at least they at least uh, pretended to try to like just report on the news and like now it's just nothing but fucking straight propaganda bullshit. Yeah, I used to listen. I used to listen to NPR primarily because their stingers like Dave Rubeck and whatnot. I like the jazz uh, stingers; they were great. Yeah, but yeah. Then they, I don't know. They, I started actually listening to what the fuck they were saying because I was stupid. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I hate them now. Yeah, yeah, no shit. I feel you on that one. Uh, Grant, stop making those. The crazy no, hot no, no, scale. Never. No, Grant, keep making those. Those are cool. keep doing it, Grant. Stop We're gonna it. show off one. all of those at the end of, uh, at during the meme time. During She's that was, high on the that crazy was, to that hot was, scale. The second one was yeah. not worse than the first one, but it was no, I still it was didn't good. like. No, I was trying to turn you into a Chad. That's how <laughs> I, I put it down there. Oh, good luck with that. Good luck with that. <laughs> no, it was, it was more of a John that the I got into. <laughs> John Doe. <laughs> but John, as in someone who buys a prostitute. Is that yes. the kind of person that yes. buys prostitutes? That's what a John is. Yes, oh, yes. Yeah, it's a John. Is that what that is? Is that yeah, like a real? No, yeah, I've never heard that phrase. before. Yeah, it's called the John. Yeah. Huh. I had the potential to be a John three times while I was in Vegas. I've never been a John before. <laughs> Neither have I. Wow. But if you're going to the John, that means you go to the toilet. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, medical education from uh, the Southie here. That's nice. There you, there you go. Something new every day. Learn something new every day. Right, because I forget most of the things I learned yesterday. Well, that makes <laughs> sense then. At least you're always surprised every new day. It literally is every a new day. day every day for you. Every day. It's, it's like day Groundhog's day. day, except for it's not the same, and I'm not Bill Murray. And it's not Groundhog's everybody else day. <laughs> Again. Just not, just not for everybody else. <laughs> All right, just not for everybody else. All right, let's take a quick look at this yep. clip. Let me talk about it real fast here. If we oh, can hear man, anything. There's no volume. Sorry. Yeah. It looks nice. Yeah. Perfect. No, I like it with no volume. I'm waiting yeah. for the extra guys to come out of the back room right now. <laughs> the number one challenge here that we, we see and is, of course, the First Amendment in the United States pro, is a fairly robust um, <laughs> right, 
uh, protection of rights and and that a is a protection of rights both for platforms which i actually think is very important that platforms have those rights to be able to regulate what kind of content they want on their sites no i really like the first amendment but we should be able to regulate your speech yeah we should be it's such a yeah. it's such a hindrance to what we're trying to do to completely and totally control your narrative and make it to where you can't say the things you want to say yeah. that's exactly right and they're, they're platforms hindrance. they're not publishers there's a difference. Which is, yeah, which is Stop yeah, it. which is the problem. They're acting like publishers, exactly. not platforms. Right. But it right. also means that it, it is a little bit tricky to really address some of the real challenges oh, of where does bad information come from and sort of the influence peddlers who have you. made the real market economy. Yeah, you. It's not you, you bad, bad information you. comes from you. Stop right. talking. It, then that's when that's when a dude walks out from like some like naked dude walks out from like the the room in the back and he goes, "Oh, you still have your clothes on? Why do you still have your clothes on? You take it off Wait, your clothes." Why are you gay? Devastator says she looks like an OnlyFans model who realized too late I shouldn't have done all of those things. <laughs> Damn. This is, she's the after picture of the, the OnlyFans model. <laughs> That's right. like when she's 40 and realize that why no man wants to be with her and why she's right, all alone exactly. now. Yeah, The right. whole hate yeah. speak shit, it pisses me off because it's it's completely subjective. Yeah. Like, yeah. That, right. I was just reading That's Camelot's right. uh, statement. Uh, yeah, comment yeah exactly. There. Like, it, because, like, hate speech in quotations, it's all subjective. Like, you feel offended by some something someone said. So fucking right. what? It's yeah, not everybody it. else's fault. You're hurt. That's you. All, all speech is protected, even speech that you hate. Right. The speech you hate, hate is the speech that needs to be protected even more. And Elon said it the, the best, man, that uh, free speech is other people saying things that you don't like. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Dude, I'm, it's that simple. I'm, I'm it's old that enough to simple. remember when the ACL used to defend Nazis doing parades in the middle of the streets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm probably old I'm enough not. to remember that. I probably am. But, I don't know. Uh, I, mm, you're uh, old I enough. Was it was still happening in the child. '90s. It was still happening in the '90s. <laughs> it was still happening in the uh, early 2000s and even the 2010s. Well, I didn't start paying attention until about three years ago. Well, there you go. Well, I think at least you Elon got to the table has, eventually. Elon uh, to address King deplorables. Elon does have a lot of money. He like like Elon has fuck you money. But he doesn't have like that same kind of pull that like you would hope he would. Like he can make tweet Twitter as free speech as possible, but if certain certain things don't meet certain regulations, they shut the whole shit down. I mean, it definitely still has its problems, but oh yeah, for sure. And in some ways, it's worse than it was, and in other ways, it's better. Yeah. It, it's kind of a, a fifty of one, and God only knows on the other side. But half a hundred. But if you can't least, you yeah. can't rely on somebody else's platform ever to be completely free speech because as long as they own it there's going to be things that they don't want you to say and and that's just the way it is things yeah. will never be the same um that's basically like that's one of the things like with my um my discord when it was like you know a discord a discord i mean I, it still exists it's just nobody's there um back then like I was I I simply said, look, I don't give a fuck what you say. I don't care. I literally don't care. Say whatever the fuck you want. Do whatever the fuck you want. But my only my only rule was simp was just don't harass people. That's it. I don't care. Otherwise, you say whatever the fuck you want. You, the moment you start hounding on someone, I'm giving you a warning. Now I'm kicking you out. After that, you could post some of the craziest shit out there. Like, hey, look, freaking, you know, a Durka Durka did some shit, right? It's like, all right, cool. You talk about like, you know, some OnlyFans model or somebody doing some porn or some shit like that. Cool. But the moment you start harassing people, I'm like, calm down. Let's 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 talk about something wild, not like each other. Let's right. like let's not do that. Um, King was saying well, here, like anyone who who seriously states free uh, free speech, not uh, freedom of reach. I just can't take them seriously. For yeah. me, it's the. It's the, the freedom of consequences, people. That's like oh, yeah, freedom yeah. of consequences, stupid. Yeah, hey, yeah. how's those consequences working out for you now, sweet baby ink? <laughs> now I will say that freedom of reach, that freedom of reach statement was kind of um dumb. Like I, it was, it's it's stupid to put it into a jingle, but ultimately what it's saying is like you know, you can't just be you can't just be popping off like you know, saying stupid shit and basically harming twitter in the process right. because you want to wall out yeah. feel well, free to wall out just 
do it within like, you know, some kind of have some restraint. Mm -hmm. I mean, but there's always going to be people who push the edge. Yeah, Always. that's but welcome, yeah. welcome to humanity. I mean, we yeah. have people that push the edge with speed limits. I mean, a color of chakra and people that are push the edges with speech. <laughs> you know, you it know, throws but, me but for they... a fucking loop is people consistently talk about, oh, well, you know, this rule shouldn't exist. This rule shouldn't exist. This rule shouldn't exist. And then they vote for the people who put the rules in the place uh, in, yeah. in the play in the first place. Yeah. Don't but know I mean, that. overall, yeah, right. I think. I think as far as like the cultural zeitgeist and over and the overall cultural war, what's happened to Twitter and it now becoming X and in the form it's in now has been an overall net positive. Positive, yeah. Um, like by yeah. by a long shot as far as how much of a difference we've been able to make and how much of a cultural shift and, and how much of a cultural zeitgeist shift we've had over the last couple of years. So, oh yeah. I will say I agree with that. People may not like the the freedom of speech, not freedom of reach thing very much, but it's kind of the same thing as just because you are free to say it doesn't mean other people have to listen to you. It's exactly. those people Block who go on with the, oh, you blocked me. You must not believe in freedom of speech. No, bitch. I believe you can say whatever the fuck you want. I don't believe I have to listen to you. Right. I think the constitution bigger constitution that I have to hear you. Right. Right. I, I think the bigger issue is some is more that instead of giving us the choice to decide we don't want to hear whatever that person and saying is they take it out of our house or out of our hands and then just don't let it let us see it because well you know they don't want people to get around but you know well, it, yeah, like i just, said it goes back to somebody owning the platform so well yeah and it just comes back to that <coughs> excuse me that control of you know shifting the narrative from you from me being able to control what i hear Mm -hmm. to you trying to control what I say. Right. And that's the part that becomes the issue, is when you start con trying to control what people say. Well, it, it, and honestly, they are to some degree controlling the more important part in, in that they are also still trying to control what people hear. I mean, I don't care if someone says a slur all day every day that, that doesn't bother me. There right. are things people say that have absolutely no negative connotations to any race that bother me far more than anybody spouting off whatever bad word they want to say. All I mean, it, it, there are far more important things in my mind. I, I do understand people who are upset by them and don't want to hear them, but that it's one of those things. But they still try. They're they're trying to control in another direction, You're right. and You're right. I personally. Uh, I don't. I don't like it when people try to control much of anything about my life. So, yeah. Well, the yeah, um, right. the other the other issue I've I've said I think a couple times before is the social media has done this thing where like the human brain for a long time dealt with very small groups of people, and I think in general we stick to that. Um, I've mentioned the, the the term Dunbar's number, um, and I think with having access to thousands isn't dunbar's number like 50 150 150, 150. 150. but if you really want to understand it read the book uh this book is filled with spiders yeah okay oh uh fuck spiders but <laughs> right. but no she's she's really pushing that john dies it's one of her favorite uh series <laughs> they're, they're fantastic books all right <clears throat> but um, and it's john yeah, dies think... at the end she's a which is a great movie by the way Yes. Oh, don't spoil really it. it. Thanks for the spoiler, guys. <laughs> there was no... All that. right. Fucking hate people like that. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Shaq. Yeah. Women. Um, host. <laughs> <laughs> Control these cats, damn it. Heard these cats already, she Shags. Um, no, I, I, that, I mean, that's kind of it. Like, I just... I think people being... People trying to control, like, thousands and millions of people, like at one time has just sort of like ruined everything. And like when people weren't connected in the way, like we operated much differently and, you know, now we converse with literally thousands of people um, or we attempt to, and we try and make real connections with that many people, but it's impossible um, and try and keep everyone like, uh, like, you know, well, it's, it's creating these sort of like, collectivist ideas that we we just can't they're just bad and people operate better in smaller i think smaller groups and do you think that that the um issues that we're facing as a result of what you're talking about are 
<clears throat> the, re the resolution of those issues, do you feel that that is incumbent upon um, the Internet or you? As the uh, well, you're not you're not going to put like what's the term you're not going to put it back in the bag right yep. you're not going to yeah you can't close yeah. the box cats out of yeah, the yeah, bag yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't you it, can't it is put what it, it is yeah, you can't so, put the milk back in the carton right like, right you can so actually even... but not if it's spilled yes you can yeah you but get one of those amazon things it's like a sticky rolly pad just like a woman ruining her analogy yeah like shit's what she's good the only thing she's good at is ruining sheep's jokes <laughs> and I'm really good at it too. You're really good. <laughs> Go ahead, I, I, it's it's totally a, it's a combination of things, works. but like even like Sheep said, and I've said before too, is you have to you have to prioritize things. You have to like step outside, touch grass, or whatever the term Agreed. is. Because Moderate. like yeah, the internet is 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 about five percent real. And then maybe Ugh, life oh, that's, that's very that, high. That's a that's a that's very optimistic of you, Shadow. That's a very yeah. generous number. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, people just need to. I do think that there's a, a decent amount of like real shit going on on the internet, but mm. like there's a lot of shit on the internet though. Yeah, there's a lot, mm -hmm. and you know, yeah, yeah. Com people forget about their community in in replace uh, in replacing it with these online activities. And Correct. There's so like I walk up and down my street multiple times a week and i realized like i don't know what any of these fucking people are doing but like mm. 20 30, 30 years ago you knew everybody you you know like th right. there was you knew and i bet you knew what the 15 people in your favorite twitter feed were doing well i could tell you like when i was growing up so like mi uh, mid to late 90s i could tell you i could tell you at least <laughs> 10 or 12 people uh, on my dad's street where he lived I couldn't yeah. tell you that many people now, like, and sure. that's sad, you know. Like, is it? Getting, I think so, because those are the people that make the difference, right? I can go over their house, like, have like, because we used to go to my dad's neighbor's house for like parties, mm -hmm. but they used to come down. They don't mm -hmm. do that anymore. You're like, afraid of your neighbors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and I have I neighbors agree. everywhere. Like, I can touch one of my neighbors' houses almost. Yeah, yeah. No, I literally run inside when my neighbors come outside. Um, I, I get that. <laughs> What's well, Mississippi? So <sighs> tell me about it. Um, and if they're coming outside, it's cause they're coming over to my house for something. So giggity, you know, I, I, I agree with that, you know, and you know, I said it a second ago that it's, it's a moderation is, is the answer to all of this. And that, but that's the answer to everything, right? You know, the internet, uh, I, I'll agree with Gary V on this that the internet has not has not broken or or faulted or um, caused anything any bad or good thing uh, in the world or from people, but rather it has expedited exactly what was already there. Um, yeah, and I think that that's that's what it does. The internet it expedites. If you're a piece of shit, people are going to find out a lot faster. If you're on the internet, if you have a bad product, people are going to find out a lot faster if you put a lot of advertising behind your product and it's a crap product. Yeah. Um, if you're a good person, it will happen faster for you. You know, it's it's just um, it's the internet is a tool that we use to expedite um, our our true fundamental realities, our truth, as it were. Um, in my opinion, I, I think that that's, that's what I see when I look at the internet and the world that like, Oh, LeBron James is actually just a total piece of shit. Um, yeah. and the internet just told everybody, no, you know what they, when, they, when they created the internet, they thought, you know, what? they did actually, you, you, you know, that nosy <laughs> bitch in the office. I want to make that lady, but like times a million. So <laughs> it, the guy, the there lady who doesn't have have stop these. talking about everyone's business. Let's let's make that a machine that everyone can access at all times of the day. <laughs> let's connect all of the Karens. <laughs> yes, Karens united. Ah, and the, the Karen verse. Right. The, why didn't they just name it the Karenet? Right. <laughs> uh, you know, come on. You know, I'm I'm not sad enough, and I haven't breached the point of actually trying to. Well, because well, no, I no, remember I back when like. You used to make fun of people on Facebook when we wrote when we posted really raunchy memes and we'd be like, Oh, internet first time, huh? And then the problem <laughs> yeah. is 
And then the problem is the Karens got control of all the censorship on That's fucking right. Facebook. Like there That's used right. to be like adult private groups and shit on Facebook. And it's like you could get away with whatever. And mm. then all of a sudden, yeah, the crackdown just got worse and worse and worse. And then everybody just like, well, fuck that shit. We're out. Well, and now it's like is... the only thing now the only people that are on there are boomers and your great grandmother. Well, that's so, exactly what happens when women leave the home and wives. go out into the workforce and they take over everything. Yeah, I love women. Absolutely. One hundred percent. I don't. But that. That's why we love men. You. men <laughs> I'll say I'll say it this way. So th as to not be offensive. Not that I give up. Men Good luck. belong outside of the home. Men belong working and providing for their families so that their families, i.e. their wives and their children, don't have to go out and do those things. They have the, uh, the job of the man in the household, in my opinion, is to make sure that the foundation, the proverbial foundation of the home is set in such a way that everybody has peace and freedom to be able to thrive in the best way possible. How that applies to women is their own choice. What I find ironic is people have this funny idea that men have always been the ones who go out and do all the providing. When realistically, until only recently, everybody had to work every day, You're all right. the time, 24 hours a day to survive. Right. It wasn't a man or woman thing. That is You're actually right. a current day modern idea that – is Fake honestly news. part of the reasons people have problems today is well, because they, everybody's bored. That's why they keep propagating it is because it causes division. And they don't want to talk about how st even still today, the women in third world countries like Africa are the ones that walk for 10 hours a day to go get water so mm -hmm. that they can wash their children's clothes. What's water? Week. It, so, so they can that, drink water so that they and it's usually it is usually uh infested water oh it's yeah bad water and then they've got to carry this 40 pound jug yeah leave it to a woman to grab the wrong water mm -hmm. and, or on a stick on, on both and, shoulders it, it, typically yeah. they've got like the jerry cans and, mm -hmm. or the the big clay pots and things like that they carry them on their heads or on their shoulders like that Yep. You see them in these countries. They're the ones carrying these big baskets. They go to the markets. Yes, men have been the ones who have built things, lifted heavy stuff, hunted typically, but women made the clothes. They typically did most of the the agricultural work in you know outside of the you know gratuitous uh, manual labor. You know they did the 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 seeding, the inventory, all of these things. Uh, the keeping track of the organizing, they took care of, they take, y'all give fucking birth. You, you grow human <laughs> beings inside your body. Unfortunately, like, yes. That's, the, there is nothing in the world, in the universe that we could do, that men could do. We've literally built civilization and that's still not as good as what you guys do. I mean, uh, you, you built the things civilizations use. Women what, built civilization. That's, you're, exactly. <laughs> like, that's a good point. We, we can break the rocks to build the buildings, but, like, you guys make the fucking people. I mean, we both make the fucking people. We just actually yeah. push no, the we, people out of our bodies. I think I think uh, we just fuck the people. And you the, make, uh, a better analogy is we build the world, they have tits. I think it's a pretty even. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I mean, the, the thing else. that frustrates me the most is, is people will start talking on one hand about how men should go out and do the work and, and mm. women should just be at home. And, of course, the women, the feminists take that as women don't have uh, as, as equal a uh, place in the society Value. without taking it my agency, exactly how much work running a, has, a household is, taking care of kids, making sure – oh, fuck off, Metastep – making sure that um, – <laughs> the families are taken care of that everybody has what they need uh, it, but the fact of the matter is is not every woman is suited to that job just like not every man is suited for going out there are some households where the flip is better and the man stays home and deals with it better than the woman does yeah. it, but that's the individualist in me generalities uh sheep will tell you i don't handle them well uh, no, no, <laughs> I have a tendency. It, it, of course, it, part of the problem is I am the 
uh, I am generally the exception to the rule in so many different cases that I, ha- I, I, you know, you start talking generalities and, you know, it kind of feels like you're trying to talk about me, but that's not me because I'm not that. And yeah. then my brain gets all broken. But See, again, this, we're, we're, this off, is why, we're off track. This is why more times than often I will refer to her as bones. <laughs> and you yes. know myself i am the booth to her bones primarily yeah. because wow. she's what a good thing to be I'm, I'm not even gonna see her fake the funk she's far more intelligent than most people i know and it's so often a hindrance in the social exa- uh, social like except, uh, it, uh, except the pub trivia i mean oh no fuck you right I, have, so. I am coming for your ass i am coming for your ass and i'm gonna beat you with that goddamn chair <laughs> but um <laughs> like God. like it, it, like it's often a hindrance in like a social environment because we all understand just general colloquialisms. Yes. And she knows their colloquialisms, but she will still question them. Well, th- there's a, there's a proper definition. And just because I use the proper definition and other people get confused, that's not my fault. True. No, that's us all, Jesse, in our heads. That's all of us. <laughs> Dude, I got to witness this live and in living color in Vegas, okay? We were having a conversation just like it was right outside of like the Bad Owl or whatever. Just a, like everybody's just now starting to get their coffee processed into their body. We're talking about some generalities and fucking horror jumps up. Well, you know what? I, 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 I'm just like, fuck it. Here we go. Fucking not even noon yet. And here we fucking go. Oh no, that, that's my autism coming out. That's me 24 7. Well, and, well that's you know, what... the best way that I have seen to deal with that is just to go, you're right. <laughs> that doesn't and then work. Move on. It doesn't she work because he, he says you're right, and I know he's just giving in. And That's true because it's that, it becomes predictable. Well, it's, no, it's a giving in. It's trying to sidestep the the, the conversation, and right. that pisses me off. <laughs> because no because, win scenario, but, but because it's it's not a conversation worth having. It we're is. Both, to me. We're just making generalizations. Yeah, I think it's but, a woman but, thing. But here, here's like for example, right? Like we don't argue about like regular relationship shit. We <laughs> argue about the dumbest shit ever. <laughs> Dude, we, me and Mrs. Pudge get in, like, we get in actual battles. I won't go home because yeah. we got in a fight <laughs> about some ri- ridiculous yeah. generalization that, like, we had a difference on, like, this is what I meant. This is what you said. I didn't say it that way. And, like, bro, actually, oh, no. I, I will not go home. Our, our arguments are more like, so Christmas this year, we got into a fight about uh, if it's better to rob a house during a Christmas party or yeah. or oh, the yeah. people that they're not that aren't at the, the house, the, pe- the house of the people that aren't at the Christmas party, you know, and we got I mean, my, my family literally Definitely got up and Christmas left the room party. because yeah. they were tired of hearing, listening to us. I, well, that's that's how ridiculous of an argument that I that me and Mrs. Pudge would get into. And like our our kids would just be like, oh my god, I just I just want to watch the Barbie movie. Yeah. <laughs> Said no one ever. <laughs> this is this is also why like a lot of my TikTok uh, debates will go like seemingly nowhere. Like I'll try and like yeah. the I'll try and have like a uh, they'll they'll want to have like a generalized discussion on something and be like almost intentionally like they're being specific about something, but uh-huh. also like they're not. They don't really want to like, like, okay, you said this, but what about this? I'm like, well, sometimes that's okay. applying, but yeah. like, oh, well now you're, now you're taking it back. And I'm like, what dude? Like, th- like there, there needs Ooh, to be right. some sort of like nuanced discussion about like the topics. only, the only absolute, plenty of nuance. the only oh, absolute yeah. in life is death, right? That's the only true. thing you are promised is that you'll die. Yeah. Um, and True. taxes, and unfortunately. Taxes. <laughs> but that's just. He's you also know. now promised to be co- constantly irritated. See what I'm, you see what I mean? See what I mean? Nonetheless, <laughs> um, like. Hey, it's I didn't the only, it's the only thing it's, pro- like, it's just a little. little everybody, like, I, I think the general populace understands there are always exceptions, but exceptions exist because there's a rule. Mm. Correct. So, like, you know, there's a, a general standard. And if you're always harping on the exception, that then kind of defeats the purpose of the whole rule. But if you never address this, uh, the exception, what you end up is people with uh, small diseases that are uh, rare that don't get treated because everybody's too focused on the rule instead of looking at the exception. 
Right. So you address this. You address the exception in those situations. But you have to be willing to address the exception. A lot of people aren't. Is it? Is it? Should it not be understood that when the uh, exception arises, we must address it? Yeah. Oh, right. Should it so be? It, it should be, but is it? it? No. It should be. No, it, should it is be. not. So I think this is where the conversation becomes contextual. You know, if you're uh, if you're having uh, a conversation, a generalized conversation with uh, what was his name, the retard in the chat. Um, then, Which one? Okay, Camelot. Camelot? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, so shout out Camelot. Shout out Camelot. Uh, so I'm mad he couldn't make the biggest. You may not. Me too. Assume that ass. that person understands the unspoken nuances and exceptions to sheep. To sheep, you would. Uh, so, so this is this is where the issue I think comes in a lot of times, even in conversations with between uh, 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 significant others, specifically men and women, is that that message, the message that you're sending to sheep, is I don't trust you. And just as a, as a bigger conversation, like, I don't trust you to not think about this aspect of the conversation, which detracts from the core of the value of the conversation that I'm trying to have. You know, I, I have to disagree with that slightly. It's not that I don't trust him to address it. It's that I want to know how much of it he knows about it. I believe that. I believe that from your perspective, I'm thinking from the recipient's perspective, you know, how it's how it's delivered the way that you're delivering it may not be that. And maybe it's maybe it's a, a trigger of mine that that's how I perceive those things. Um, and maybe that's the bigger question. That could be. I mean, I, I try to express that when we're having conversations, he he can attest the fact that I'm quite blunt. Uh, if he's saying something that I don't understand or I don't think is relevant to the conversation, I say, that's not what I'm talking about. Great. Literally. And that's boy, not what is, I'm that talking. A is that a statement that pisses me <laughs> off? Really because does. I'll say the same thing and then she'll be like, yeah, but it's what I'm talking about. Bitch. <laughs> 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 who's talking? Me. <laughs> well, She's on the plus side, at talking. least I know what I'm talking about. You see? Yeah. <laughs> Until you say that's not what I'm talking about, I'm like, God, all right. But well, the thing is, is I'll say that's not what I'm talking about, and your reaction isn't, you know, I at least try to, after I say that's what I'm talking about, I at least try to understand what you're talking about. And eventually, the biggest part of our arguments is generally going from trying to take what we're both talking about and moving it to a center point where we're both talking about the same thing. And we do get there. I mean, yeah, we might yeah. irritate everybody around us for two hours before right. we get there, but we get there. Right. Well, you're not you're not going home with everybody else. You're going home with each other. Well, except for my mother who lives here. But yeah. But, but she's good. I at see your point. Out. She... <laughs> I see your point. Like you know, we'll be. But she she's good at tuning people out. So more times than often, it'll just be white noise. Until she like her ears perk up for like a, a brief second. I don't know. I didn't make the fucking phrase. It's only black but... noise when we turn off the light. Damn. Oh my fucking god. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> smiles. Uh, like like it's she usually she can tune it out until she perks her ears up like for like a single phrase or something like that that'll pop up and then like she'll like she'll probably say something like you can both shut up. Yeah. And I'm like all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's mom. Or she'll jump in a conversation and she'll be smarter than both of us. That one, that one sucks. Or, or she'll agree with Lindsay. Hey, she Sorry. agrees with you sometimes. Not as often, but sometimes. Sounds right. Sometimes. Well, listen, my friends. I think it's about time to close up the night. Yeah, it's about that I'm time to hit the old dusty trail. Sun's getting real low. Um, Sean's sure, getting real low. I am. Uh, we got we got started a little bit later, so I pushed it a little bit later than usual. But uh, we I love y'all. Feeling Sorry. super. No, no, no. Don't don't apologize. Um, I just I don't 
I gotta keep I gotta keep an eye on my health is what it comes mm-hmm. down to. Mm-hmm. Shame is dying and shit. Yeah, I don't, don't want to be dying and shit. Uh, though I had a, I had a like as a final thought, I had like this like crazy something came across a TikTok feed and it was mm-hmm. like some child actors that had died like suddenly. From Grandma of Tarkins, go ahead. Yeah, so one of one of them had died from a seizure. Mm-hmm. And I just thought how scary it was to wake up from ha- having the ones I had and not realizing like what happened. But, and then it just like kind of caught up with me that I would never know. Like I would That's just, right. I would like it's light, light switch off. And I would never know. I would not have this memory of us sitting here. And that is so scary to me. Yeah. And it just made me think you need to take care of yourself. You have family, you have kids, you have friends that want to see you and, you know, grow old with you. Like, but I don't know. It, none of that stuff like registers until you're like on the edge of mm. like you're over that. You're looking over the cliff and it's like you fuck around. You're going to find out. Um, so, yeah, that's one of the reasons we're we're cutting stuff like short and like trying to like stay on schedule. But yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, it, it's it's most important that it, you guys all everybody stays healthy so that yeah. we can continue doing this and meet up. Like yeah, man. Like I'm Ross said, we're well, except for her, well, except for her because she's quitting. No, nobody wants wants to hear from me. I argue too much. <laughs> Bro, um, that's Pudge, a lie. Thank she you for what? joining us tonight, um, guys. Thank you. We do have real yes. quick. Actually, thank you, you know Pudge. what? Let's not we got go memes. Flight. We got a couple memes to do, so let's let's do it. I, I knew it. What? I wasn't going to forget. Yeah, sure. You know what time it is. Who played <laughs> this old classic, boys and girls? Bottle of Ranch Big Edition. Week. Gross. Oh, that's, a good one. Week, huh? Bottle of Ranch. that's the expensive Bottle of Ranch one. Wow. It's like playing Pokemon. ESRB rating, though. Mm, ranch. I drank almost <laughs> a whole bottle of the ranch. Yeah, yeah it was a, 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 a Dollar Ranch Edition. Is there, is there um, the bootleg version. The ESRB is and for N- Nintendo. What uh, what's the challenge of the game? Like, do you, do you just like have to consume the? Um, the, well, the you play as the main protagonist, uh, McBeardy Beardface, and you've got to drink an entire bottle of ranch without um having a grand mock Tarkin. <laughs> or having to go to the hospital for high blood pressure. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I I could do both of those things. You Which, by the way, for those that oh, haven't and also you've in. got to do a podcast at the same time. Yeah, yeah. So those wow. that haven't tuned in, there's the challenge. <laughs> if you haven't tuned in for episode 100, I implore oh, you go check it out because Shaq yeah. just chugging ranch. It was hilarious. Re- I'm gonna he go always got it on the same face. spot on his beard. It always yeah, landed on the same spot on his beard. It's like he's a pro at it or some shit. It's almost like he knows he's done it before. It's like he's been practicing. I know. Yeah, almost. Mm. Not the first um, thing that's been on the beard. Shaq is an anime. Nope. I thought that was Pudge. Yeah, kind of like Pudge. Uh, no, that says Shags is an animal. Enough beard. Yeah, it's f- not nearly no, enough beard. That's why I thought it was Pudge. Beard. You thought that was me? Well, he Pudge did, not no me. Beard. I did. So. That guy's got a five though. head. Oh, see, that's mm-hmm. definitely yeah, you're, that's definitely you're, you're obscuring your five head. So is Shags. He's got a forehead with the hat. <laughs> I'm just Damn. Shots oh, boy. Fired. Get red. And and that one's more Shags. shags. There that one's more me, yeah. Shags. Like maybe like the late, like the yeah, early, early '90s in like New York, like at a office building somewhere. He looks like he's just, well he's... in like Gremlins Two. Gremlins Two. Yeah, he's just about to go office. and sexually harass his secretary. That's, well, yeah, right. that's Magna P. That's Magna PI if it were a law firm. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's Shag if you had a job instead of a podcast. Oh, oh, damn. Damn. Demolished. damn now where's that other one because i want to bring up that uh that beautiful that beautiful no. beautiful so i gotta go guys uh, my uh yeah you ain't going nowhere didn't you know Charles we turned off, off before we you turned go off. 
We turned uh, off the leave button. Show, 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 the, show the wax candle version of you. Not the wax. Oh, the wax candle <laughs> yes, version. Sure right. that, for the love Guys, of God. this episode is sponsored by Yankee Candles. <laughs> Charles, last week in Vegas, I we were on stream doing our 100th episode, and I I was basically just like drinking ranch out of he the was, bottle. He was just out the bottle, chugging it down his throat. Yeah. So if you want to see that, go check it out. That's no cup so focused on his health this week. Oh, dude, I've been eating so good this week. <laughs> That's so great. Last week, Shag was chugging ranch. No diddy. No, uh, diddy. Stop no, watching no doubt. What? Stop this guy. It. Ugh. That was worse. <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's, that's like see that's like i told a, you it was it's worse a, it's a fucking time lapse of the first year of me doing crack <laughs> yeah Dude, like, yeah um, you've um you, you just, just started listening to the tape podcast like, and started growing out <laughs> yeah, right. it's just an un, it's an unfinished so it, animorph transformation he's going into the crypt keeper it yeah. starts out like do- this and then, oh, this one didn't. Right, this one right. right. It, it starts out. You start out like that, and then this is what happens when you vote Democrat, guys. <laughs> yeah, you fall off completely. Oh. Just, <laughs> and then, and then when you die, you vote again. <laughs> this is a great. Oh, good job, Grant. You're a I don't legend. Like this Grant. game. You're he ages like Kevin like... Conroy. <laughs> I fucking yeah. age like Kevin uh, Bacon. Oh, oh. <laughs> too soon, too soon. Um, Pudge, what do you got coming up, man? Thank again, thank you for joining us. Um, but what's what's happening with you? Yeah, man. Um, lots of stuff coming up on on the channel. We've got, uh, let's see, we've got a surprise guest coming on uh, Mod Mondays this coming up week. <laughs> Uh, Who is it? Really excited about you. Uh, you guys will find out on Monday. Hence the. I want to know now. Surprise. It's the surprise part. Sur- okay. Yes. Okay, don't tell us it. who it is. Just tell us what channel they're on. They're on my channel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, He's a clever one, Grant. This I one's did, a clever one. I did that, and you won't get me on on those little quick witted things. You silly goose. Um, <laughs> you big smelly <laughs> willy. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've got uh, Mod Mondays coming up next week, and um, then who's Mod Mondays? Mod Mondays is that who's going to be on the show? Mod Mondays is the name of the show. Do you guys follow my a... content at all? I Why do. Yes, we do. Actually, my mother and I have tried to watch your show a few times, and you guys are great because you and your mom both like right after each other like my tweets. It's great. I love it. <laughs> who, uh, so who did you say was going to be on Mod Mondays? Who did you say I was did be on it. Mod oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's but what I was trying to figure out who guys, Mod Mondays is. You guys met uh, my co-host for Mod Mondays, Fused Aegis, uh, mm-hmm. in, in yep. Vegas. Fused. Great, great fucking dude. Uh, yeah. He he does a phenomenal job helping me uh, build the the community. So we've got that show on on Monday nights, eight thirty p.m. Eastern. Um, and we've got uh, some awesome guests lined up for the rest of the quarter, actually, and then into June. Uh, nice. We've got some guests. Yeah, oh, I'm yeah. super pumped about that. It's a really great show celebrating uh, Rumblers, really kind of specifically, and it's a lot of fun to get to know them. And then Practical Pudge is my Tuesday show. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got um, somebody from my new V Friends partnership, Chase Hunter, coming in. To nice. uh, talk to us about V Friends, what it is, what the mission is, what the purpose is, who Gary is, kind of give the rundown on what V Friends is before uh, we get the actual physical vending machine in here, which is going to have these awesome little squishy toys. I don't know where Hondo is. Uh, he must be taking a break from uh, producing today. But these they have they're these little pencil topper squish uh, toys that are in the vending machines, and it's a lot of fun. And uh, we're going to have Chase here talking about that. We've got the uh, mon- the morning death count streams that I do just about every morning except for Tuesday mornings. Um, then Saturday morning cartoons. I play retro games, you know, uh, Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, what's that? Uh, um, I play Perfect Dark. You know, stuff like that, the older stuff. Okay. Just to kind of oh, bring yeah. some uh, Saturday morning cartoon uh, energy back to uh, Saturdays. Make Saturdays great again. 
Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, all kinds of stuff, man. Sponsor from Old Glory uh, Bank has come in. Did my first official episode uh, with that sponsor recently. Um, man, just all sorts of stuff. More content coming to the show. Uh, big productions, big partnerships, lots of big things coming to the show. Stuff I can't even talk about yet. Mm. Yep, yep. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, Exciting, good, good stuff happening. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And if you guys haven't seen the uh, Eric July episode of Practical Pudge, go check that out on my channel. It's uh, two episodes ago, I know, I think now. Um, very good episode. I like. Mm -hmm. I really like Eric. He's a solid guy. Yeah. Really, really solid guy. I, I definitely uh, am looking forward into investing into more of that, uh, of what he's doing. I'm super pumped for all the things he's got going on and the team that he's building around him. You guys are doing a fantastic job of building community, building content, building brand. Yeah. Absolutely great. Good shit. I'll pass the word. Mm -hmm. Good job, sheep. What did I do? You, you work for it, honey. <laughs> but you're on Never payroll. Mind. Fuck so, off. I uh, reject you know, your compliment. Job. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off then. Never mind. All right. She yeah, sucks his job. Like Eric, hear. you should fire his ass. He fucking sucks. I didn't say all of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with I'm fine with deprecating statements. He ain't gonna tell me to lose. He ain't gonna fire me. Damn. <laughs> Eric's got DEI requirements just like everybody else. I'm saying he needs more than one black guy on the team. Exactly. Well, Isn't that what, what Brandon is? That's what I have right. used on my yeah. team for, you know, and, and he knows it, you know. He understands it's a three fifths compromise. <laughs> yeah, gotta have the diversity. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, well, big things of, coming to the show. Speaking of three fifths of a person, sheep, what do you got coming on? <laughs> <laughs> yes, good job. And most of it's in his pants. Damn. Oh. Well, he is a black guy. <laughs> this is a, one of the few one of the few times that, like, you know, she capes for your boy. I appreciate it. I cape for you all the time. I well, just, you're not, well, you're I just not also like throw a cape people. over your head, so. <laughs> All right. oh, and then she throws a hood over hers. All right. <laughs> At any rate. Only in the bedroom. Oh, oh, shit. So, I am I drawing a manga. Go to fandomonium.locals.com to check out the prologue. Still working out the kinks in chapter one, but it will be done really soon. Uh, when I'm not doing that, I am obviously selling... Ripperverse merch. <clears throat> go ahead and go to ripperverse.com. You can hit up the campaign. The Yaira, uh, the Yaira number one campaign is live. Get your orders in. Fulfillment will start soon. Um, and you can also go to the store, to the Ripperverse store, and pick up ISOM 1, ISOM 2, and Alpha Core. All three books are phenomenal. You can pick up some merch as well. You got like a whole bunch of cool ass shirts, hats, uh, some cool posters and whatnot. Um, but the campaigns will have like the exclusives. <clears throat> so if you want like, you know, the goodies that other, that, you know, the other kids won't have, you'll be the cool kid on the block. Go ahead and get in, uh, some of them exclusive purchases. Um, aside from Especially Ripperverse the and the manga, I am taking care of the squid. Mm -hmm. And because she will no longer be a part of this team, um, you know, permanently as a permanent member, <clears throat> I will be, you know, also promoting her stuff in her stead so you know cool sh she'll run through it uh and i'll try to remember it i'll just write it on the whiteboard good shit why nice. boy why? i didn't even ask him to do that today. that's nice of him go away now yeah i write everything on a on a blackboard but that's just me <laughs> you got <Crazy>. chalk <laughs> i'm a dusty fucker <laughs> ah that explains I, the whiteness i stopped myself <laughs> yeah yeah i get ashy yeah, that makes sense. Jesse, That's what, what I'm gonna have my urn say when I die. Careful, I get ashy. Nah, I'll just, give you one just have that. a just have a, a jar. Make your urn uh, a Johnson and Johnson uh, lotion. Jar. Oh, dude, but oh. baby oil. Get the baby yeah. oil bottle. Cocoa butter. Yeah. Oh yeah, cocoa butter. Oh, you already know. That like, I can, like I can already smell you. Appreciate it. <laughs> look, look, cocoa butter has one of the most iconic smells. It does. It that does. Means, it really wow. does. Holy That's all God. I had, though. Um, Go in it. Yeah. Uh, I got the morning prep tomorrow at 11 a.m. Be covering all the pop culture news of the day. 
um, exclusively over on Rumble. Be live streaming over there. Uh, I'm probably going to play some Hell Divers tomorrow night. See if we can rain Quarter Black Garrett into that one. Um, that be, that should be some good times. Um, and then same thing Friday, five dollar Fridays. You decide how long the show goes. For every five dollars, we extend the show out another five minutes. So that always be a good time. See if we can break our record of four thirty. I don't know if that's ever going to happen, but we'll find out. Um, and then, uh, but I said that about the three thirty one too, and then they showed me wrong. Um, <laughs> and then Friday night we've got Comic Shop Talk. Although, depending on if my new rig comes in Friday, I might not be doing that. I might just be playing Helldivers at, like, max resolution on absolutely everything. So, we'll see what happens on how Friday goes. But uh, other than that, yeah, Sunday, Bible study, 2 p.m. And then Sunday night at 6 p.m., we've got a big show um, for the Doctor Who stream because we've got the Season 3 finale. Um, Three-parter. Yep, it's a big three-parter episode. Um, she'll be a good time. You never know. There might even be some surprise face. Well, there'll be some surprise faces show up. There might even be a big surprise face who shows up, who is a very big Doctor Who fan. Um, no commitments, but uh, we've talked about things, so you never know who might show up. So definitely come check us out. That He's talking about to... uh, Trump. Yeah, talking about yeah. Donald I Trump. Thought he was talking that'll, about that'll, that'll, that'll get me the most views on Rumble <laughs> if I put Doctor <laughs> Donald Trump is reviewing Doctor Who with us. Um, guaranteed yeah. on our page on Rumble if I do that. Donald Trump reacts to Doctor Who. My favorite, my favorite Who. is Capaldi. Oh, dude, he's really I, classic. Uh, Grant, we need to work on an AI Trump. We can get him to react to Doctor Who. We're going to turn it into yep. a thing. Do uh, it. That's yeah. money. Yep. Already, okay. already working on it. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you. Hey, that's why you're my brother, Grant. I love you, man. I love you. Be more uh, but yeah, so- it's going to be just Donald Trump melting inside of a fucking phone booth. <laughs> yeah. No, no. I, I, I would never do that to him. I only do that no. to people I hate. Yeah, Grant, Grant, Grant's going to be way, do way better than that. Grant's going to be way better. <laughs> See, Pudge, here's the thing. You might be quick to the draw. But Grant invented the draw. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that. then rinse and repeat Monday through Friday. So yeah, probably be playing a little more Helldivers soon and stuff like that. But yeah, other than that, always a pleasure. Pudge, good to hang out with you. Glad I met your boy out there in Vegas, dude. That was a blast. Those guys are cool as shit. Yeah, he's great. Gonna have have, yeah, yeah going to have to have y'all, uh, have to have y'all on, uh, on shortly. So, okay. yeah, that'll be a good time. Excited about it. Yeah, yeah. Know, yeah. yeah, I might, I might or, definitely tune into your streams. Yeah, dude, definitely. Yeah, come check it out. We cover all the pop culture news. And the cool part is we can watch trailers and not worry about getting dinged because we're on Rumble and they know what oh, uh, fair use is. Yay. <laughs> but, yes. <laughs> Hooray. Or, my dear, you will be missed. Rest in peace, horror in the chat. Rest in peace, horror in the chat. See, I died at that uh, We went when we went to the, the Zach Baggins Museum. I'm, see, I'm not technically oh, here, so yeah, see, yeah. dude. Fucking, I had I had uh, rewriting Raven and Dermy on tonight, and Raven was talking about that how how much fun her and her husband. That was a lot uh, of fun. Going yeah, to yeah, they had a blast. So. It, yeah, it's great. Yeah. I definitely All want right. to try to hit that up next time we go to Vegas. I'll do it again. Nice. What's dead men ever die? That's right. Mm. Um, Grant, what do you got coming up, bud? I uh, got a, a lot of streams coming up. Definitely looking forward to the Doctor Who one that's coming up so that should be good uh, i just want to say horror yeah uh, oh sorry sorry my little one's just making me some uh dinner uh, Aww. Aww. Nice. Um, I know, actually you want to say you want to say goodbye horror goodbye horror. Yeah. goodbye sweetie <laughs> oh, she's so um yeah it was it was awesome having you part of the 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 panel and um you're the reason that i'm here so it's all your fault for everything that i do <laughs> I know. I'm um, so proud of myself. To blame for the melting yeah. AI. Yes, yes. I'm very happy. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's something to say. Before I was on the panel, I had 3,000 subs. After Afterwards, I've got nearly 450,000. So who knows? It might have even been this show that kicked me off. Yeah. Probably so. Probably Maybe. Was. So, Shout um, out to Grant. Shout out to the hump. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. And um, yeah, as I said, um, not going to be the same without you, doll. No. Thank you. Okay. Mm-hmm. And Amrata, what are you coming up? Uh, well, first I want to thank everybody again for all the fun times and all the memories. I have genuinely had a lot of fun, and it was a really hard decision to come to, but it is definitely a time to to do the things that I got to do, and I'm very grateful mm-hmm. that, uh, you know... That this doesn't end the way so many you see so many things end on YouTube, you know, with people fighting and end upset. And I I never 
wanted to deal with that. And everybody here is still my very dear friend, except for Pudge. Um, <laughs> I like you, Pudge. That's I like fair. you. <laughs> Thank you. I can relate to that. No, I love Pudge. <laughs> Pudge is a good guy. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. But it's great. So uh, I, I'm I'm very grateful for everything, for the support everybody on the panel and in the audience has given me. And uh, I look forward to continuing my support for everybody here. Even if I'm not on the panel, I will guest occasionally, I'm sure. And I will definitely uh, always support everybody here, even Pudge. So, <laughs> damn. Sorry, I keep pulling up that that fucking AI thing. <laughs> I can't stop staring at it. It's like his own personal lava lamp, except it's got his face on it. Oh, it's so bad. Like I, and, and I feel bad I'm, I'm adding, I'm adding a lip sync to you. Say I'm melting from uh, Wizard of Oz. Oh my God, I can't oh, wait to see that. Yes, You're just being wait. so nice and sweet, and then like I just I jump into it, and it. Yeah, I said something on. nice and you jump back and I'm like, yeah, oh, okay, right. so much yeah, for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess he is an asshole. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you can find me on my Horror Amarada channel where I do my uh, streams. Um, still reading Lovecraft, <sighs> still playing video games. There will be D&D this Sunday. Uh, and then every day I drop a video on my the abysmal critic channel uh where you can find that and starting shortly after i get the channel set up on rumble you will be able to get that first as soon as i am done uh editing it and getting it uploaded you will you will see it nice. there and then you if, if you don't go to rumble you will have to wait until 10 a.m the next day to see the video so nice. that's what we're doing that's what we're doing. So, oh, and I'll be able to watch the full trailers of video games and stuff I review on Rumble. So that'll be cool. That's uh, right. Black Box is a really good uh, channel to go uh, get those um, those trailers too. Oh. If you guys uh, are looking for some good game trailers, cool. Nice. I have to remember that. I think it's Black but, Box Gaming. Thank you guys uh, oh, again so much. And Black Box is my favorite category on Pornhub too. That makes sense. Uh, of course it is. Of course. It totally is. makes sense. But uh, likes, yeah, that, that wraps it up. Thank you. Categories. <laughs> and as uh, as for me, you always catch me here. You guys know where to find me. You guys are on my channel. Um, but I have a lot of Shit. great interviews that are taking me basically through May <laughs> for the most part for Ready Set Shag. Um, some good names some indifferent names uh some lines i've kind of cast out there for both uh this show and interviewing um i'm really you guys know what i'm trying to do i'm trying to build a rapport and talk with people uh one-on-one -on -one, uh, even bring people uh in real life to here to my studio and talk with them uh, and next week uh, we will have the midweek hump extra zero is going to be joining us i will not be here um, the others will be running the show. I am going on a camping trip with my family. You're leaving too? No, just yeah, but he's so coming back. back. I'm coming back. Oh. Unfortunately. Oh, God damn fuck. it. That's even worse then. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, no, I will definitely you know what's funny? Week, I so. made a joke. You know what's funny, Shags? I made a joke on my stream earlier about how tonight's show, like, somebody was leaving. And so it was like, it's going to be Shags. And I was like, yeah, it's going to be Shags. We're all just going to be running the show. And then you come out here and now it's next week. Yeah, we're actually running the show next <laughs> yeah, week. Yeah, right. Um, no, man, I, I, I will be here. Obviously, we'll, we'll continue running. We're going to keep the crew as is. Um, you know, we have a great group. Um, of course, it's, it's, uh, it's sad to see uh, Amrata go, but, you know, everyone, we're, we're all trying to grow. We're all trying to, to do our things and expand and, and complete the projects that we want to complete. Um, so to that end, I wish you the absolute best and thank you for all the, you know, the endless hours that you've put in, all the me and memories that we've made up until this point. Um, and I do look forward to the times that you guessed in the future and all the memories that we can continue to make at meetups um, and whatever else we do. Uh, and, oh, and don't forget, guys, too, every Tuesday um, we're doing, uh, we're doing ready, I'm sorry, we're doing Shagcast uh, from about 9 p.m. till about 11 p.m just talking about stuff and being fun and uh, getting our grift on where we can uh, just mm -hmm. being stupid. So I appreciate everyone coming by tonight. Pudge, thank you so much 
for being being here. You're a great dude. Um, look Appreciate forward guys. to meeting you in the future as well. Uh, chat, thank you for for supporting this channel, for supporting us, giving us your time week after week. Uh, to the panel, you guys are great. Uh, we look forward to many episodes ahead. And that's it. We're out of here. Be good, y'all. Bye.